Introducing Mr. Smelly's Fragrance Reviews with the international leader of the worldwide fragrance community, Mr. Smelly 1977. <laughs> Happening, super chat, baby. <laughs> super chat, let's get this on, baby. Mr. Smelly's Drama Inferno! I love it when a plan comes together.
sorts of thing is happening here. Yeah, not going to do it. Hey? Do you want me to go? No. I'd love it if you would. I think you're an awful bully. And I think it's appalling that anybody should have to put up with it. Do you want me to go? Mm-hmm. Yes, I do. Gentlemen? I think you should. Offer. I think that's I the, the collective opinion. Good night. Good night, gentlemen. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well, hello, hello. Welcome to Friday Fragcom Live, a very special episode tonight, as you can probably see. And we're going to have producer Michael on the show, all being well. I think he's going to turn up. I really do. And I'm very excited to interview the fabulous producer Michael. This is kind of uh, an ambition of mine. So uh, whatever happens, I'm really thrilled to fulfill that ambition. Welcome to you 68 people in the room. Please hit the thumbs up button. So just to give you the lowdown, what's happening tonight. So we've secured the scoop of the century. As uh, and this man, I, I don't see him do too many of these live streams, so I'm very flattered and thrilled uh, that I've managed to persuade him to appear tonight. It's going to be very exciting. In, in case you don't know who producer Michael in, it, Michael is, I will fill you on in that. Fill you in on that in a few moments, guys. But it's great to see you guys here. Hit the thumbs up button, please. And uh, we're going to just uh, have a really interesting time talking to him. I really want to talk about his new fragrances. He's actually got two fragrances that he has released with Fragrance Dubois which we'll be talking about. Can you believe he's... I, after me last week talking about how people get free bottles and stuff, I have been sent both fragrances free. So Mr. Smelly is uh, now... I've suddenly changed my tune. I, I've got producer Michael's, um, the first one, PM, and I've got AM. So I am very grateful to Fragrance Dubois for sending me these fragrances. They are honestly very good, and I have I had sampled one of them before and said that in a video long before I had any uh, inkling that I might ever get a bottle. So um, it will be very entertaining. I actually really want to hear about the fragrances, but and this is no joke. Uh, I've actually been a huge fan of his channel. I, I subscribed in 2018, which I think is uh, when he first started doing the, the Producer Michael channel. So it is in a really in incredible channel that I, I genuinely do watch for my own entertainment. And I ain't just saying that to be nice. So it's going to be really exciting. And, 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 you know, this really ties in with the new theme for the channel because we've been talking about Mr. Smelly's winning at life community. It's all about winning at life. And, of course, Mr. Sm Producer Michael has been a huge success in a career which uh, started in the music industry, a very talented drummer, uh, a music producer, somebody who works in the TV uh, industry too. And now, of course, with the, an, um, a sensational YouTube channel, al almost as uh, well renowned as my own in fact so uh, it, he's quite seriously quite a big deal guys so it is going to be very very exciting to interview producer michael on the show what could possibly go wrong producer michael uh interviewed by mr smelly 1977 let me know you can hear me loud and clear let's catch up on the chat we've got a couple of super chats some really important super chats i haven't missed those and we'll get straight down to those thank you very much Ain't no meaning with a two dollar super chat, and we I will I will put as many of these to him as I possibly can. Any decent question, obviously no silly, you know. Try and be, you know, help me out here, guys. Don't I, we do tolerate some good fun in the chat, but we'll try and behave a little bit tonight as we do have a slightly posh guest. Let's be honest. Um, and I am making a note of these questions. Did producer Michael ever learn what ood means? Okay, we will ask him about that because there was yeah there was a video where. A few, it was quite a few years ago that that, that did come up in a video. We, I think we can ask him that. I think he's, he'll be all right with that. Two dollar super chat question Pro, Did producer Michael ever learn what who means? I would have, I, yeah, yeah, I'm sure he does now. Ain't no meaning with a five dollar super chat. Thank you, by the way, to the first person there, which was the same person. Sorry, ain't no meaning. Thank you for the two dollar super chat. And the subsequent five dollar super chat is up the ante. Thank you so much for the five dollar super chat. And what was producer Michael's first high end watch purchase? And does he still have it? Hey, that's a really great question. Yeah, we do touch on watches quite a lot here so uh producer michael I, I, i'd be actually very interested to know that myself thank you for the generous five dollar super chat that makes you top super chatter of the night i'll combine those two and call that seven dollars from you so far so thank you so much ain't no meaning top of the leaderboard let's get the super chats in there and maybe you can help me to achieve the producer michael uh live lifestyle with super chats unlikely but uh you know let's, let's at least get me halfway there ain't no meaning and uh that is a great super chat let me i guess i'll do the apostrophe how are you all doing in the chat we'll do a bit of general housekeeping so producer michael will be joining us on half past the next hour so i think that's 3 30 p.m where he is if you're in new york city time or what do you call that eastern time 5 30 i think no 6 30 eastern time 
or 11.30 if you're in the UK. I think that makes it half past the next hour. You get it, right? Ain't no meaning. Well, I think we can call that $7. Thank you so much. Let's make it a great night for the Super Chats. Look, I do make the effort to give you good guests. And um, I'll tell you what, much bigger channels than mine have probably tried to get producer Michael on and failed. But Mr. Smelly has got game. We have uh, Ain't No Meaning, $7 worth of Super Chats. Let's keep the Super Chats rolling in tonight. And soon I'll be living the producer Michael lifestyle. Paulie Galtieri there asks, what's everybody's drinking tonight? Paulie Galtieri, let us know if you're having a um, an aperitif or two in the chat there or whatever you're drinking, let us know. Uh, and P DJ Pugwash, nice to see you in the chat. Evening all, he says, and uh, good evening to you. To drink of the night, Tetley with a splash of soy milk, one sugar. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, that's fantastic. Welcome to Limelight Last. She'll be joining us later on in the evening. Where we're going to be talking about tropical fragrances and also following on from the uh, producer Michael uh, theme, we're going to be talking about luxury lifestyles. What, what kind of luxury goods do we cover most in life? What's the most important luxury for you guys? In, in the chat, let me know. What's your luxury item? Producer Michael, I believe, well, I know, he likes his uh, fancy cars. He likes his watches. I'm sure many other things. We're going to find out in the interview. But what do you cherish as a luxury good that you can't do without? Obviously, I guess because we're here, we'll, we'll, we'll take fragrances as red. Um, but uh, let's uh, have a look. Okay. Still ha still no actual show. How long are these opening videos? An hour? Well, we do try to... Uh... We do, uh, we do drag things on a little bit. He's also, well, yeah, absolutely, Rachel, great to see you. He worked with some greats like Willie Nelson. Yeah, I'll try and ask him about Willie Nelson too. Yeah, definitely. Uh, need a mortgage to buy them frags. Okay, thank you for the comment. Um, no, I wouldn't go that far. Jimbo, I love you, Boz. I remember, Boz, yes. Okay, so going to be a great show. Thank you so much, Rachel K. And so, guys, let us know what you think about the Producer Michael channel. Have you seen it? And uh, I will talk to you about the fragrances too, two uh, fragrances that he has released in coordination or collaboration with Fragrance Dubois. Uh, will Dan take <laughs> Yoshi, Yoshi? Yeah, that's going to be awkward for me, actually. Uh, good point. Will Dan take a toilet break and leave Producer Michael to carry the stream? Probably. I hope he's ready for that. Um, that is actually a relevant question. Uh, Yoshi, that is a great question. Uh, listen, we're not going to change the fundamental form of the show here. I want William Willie Nelson stories from producer Michael. I'm taking screenshots of these on my phone. It's the easiest way so that I don't forget the super chats. Uh, let me just say thank you to in a second. Oh, dear. Um, if I do this, then I won't. Oh, hang on. Let's get it right. Right. Great super chat. Rachel K. Ung with a very generous $4.99 super chat. I really appreciate that, Rachel. Thank you for the generous support. $4.99 super chat. I want William Nelson stories from producer Michael. I shall indeed try to ask, if, see if we can coax some of them out of the great man himself, producer Michael. I feel, I, I guess some of you, of course, may not know who he is. Um, so let's fill you in on that. Really great to see you guys. I'll tell you my fragrance of the night and stuff like that in a second. But I want to say uh, to Rachel and the other super chatters, you didn't have to super chat like you did. But you did. And I thank you. Yes, indeed, guys. Thank you for the generous super chat. Rachel K. Ung, hello to Jonathan1970. GJ Pugwash is on the Baileys. Yeah, yeah, I'm very flattered. DJ Pugwash pointing out that he's never seen producer Michael do a live stream. You have to wonder why he's selected to come here, but I'm so happy that he has. I think he's just a really fun uh, person, and I'm I'm genuinely uh, very excited and and happy, just thrilled to have the the the, the chance. Um, thank you to Josecu, Josecu, first time catching the stream. Always enjoyed producer Michael. Thank you so much. It's great to have a new audience, which hopefully we'll get from the. Um, the the uh the producer michael effect there thank you to joseph uh yes that's the price 325 pounds 400 mil is the price there in harrods uh we will I'll, I'll come to the fragrances in a second so we've got am and pm they are under the uh brand there um thank you so much dj pugwash love my room that's very kind of you very kind of you indeed and uh it, uh, thank you and uh, great to see Maurizio Gimilio in the chat there as well ha uh, great to have you here has producer Michael seen the show before um I, he has seen one of my videos because I did a reaction video 
about three years ago to a fragrance video that he did. So he has definitely seen that. And I have spoken to him before back then. And I did have a chat with him on the phone this week because I'm kind of a big deal. People know me, as they say. And uh, we had a we had a chat just to set things up for the stream today. Very nice guy. Let's uh, and I'm going to fill you in on the producer Michael um, story in a second. What up, Ski? Hi, Dan and chat. Buddha loves you and everybody. Thank you so much. He'll be joining us on half past the hour, which we all look forward to. Jamie Opulence there with a great uh, comment which is, uh, and, and uh, well, uh, what do you call them? Crowns, crowns. Okie dokie, what up, Ski? Thank you, thank you. Hiking is great, have fun. Thank you so much. Guys, let us know your thoughts on Producer Michael. Let, let me fill you in on the legend that is Producer Michael then. Um, let's do a bit of a screen share so we'll find out all about Producer Michael. And uh, we've got a biography on IMDB, which... Uh, that's I think that's an okay website so guys let's see who we are actually interviewing because not everybody in the chat may know about him he has a huge chat of course which I'll link in a minute not that he needs any great help from me because he's got millions of subscribers um unlike me but never mind never mind that okay so Michael the real name is uh, I think it's in I can say this it's in the public domain Michael Blakey okay uh, I won't say his date of birth but he's he's of, of the uh, the 20th 20th century let's just say as as am I nickname producer Michael he's very tall at six foot three inches mini biography let's find out about this gentleman fascinating life he's led actually so uh, Michael Blakey born in London England studied in studied music in Madrid and Berlin coming to the United United States with a vast array of musical experience as, a, as an accomplished drummer, hit making music producer, and uh, music promoter. Blakey made his lifelong passion for the in, uh, entertainment industry his business. Okay, just to paraphrase, then, uh, he headed up a music production company in the famous Hansa Ton Studio in West Berlin. Uh, so that's back in the, obviously in the 80s, before the Berlin Wall fell, uh, where he was the in-house drama over his career. He crea has created three record labels and been involved with numerous gold and platinum selling records. Uh, by 1999, he founded 2K Sounds and was one of the first people to integrate the internet into um, daily operations for successful distribution of music, which is, of course, how we all mainly commute, consume on music now. Let's face it. So this is a forward-thinking person, a very interesting, pioneering uh, gentleman, very musically talented. I know he was in a, a great band, actually. I think they were called Tidal Force in the 90s. I might I might give him a grilling about that. Um, uh, so he's also, uh, yeah, the, the 2K Sounds entered into a joint uh, venture with Virgin Records, where he was actually appointed president of the record division so uh that's quite a good job right <laughs> that's quite he's kind of a big deal a bit like me guys um okay he's also been honored by the cambridge who's who for demonstrating dedication leadership and excellence in all aspects of production promotion marketing and all related areas of the um to entertainment uh, industry and he has also uh says here now having teamed up with renowned marketing and uh no with, with uh, sorry renowned co comedian ron white He's created the Organica Media Group. Uh, VIP Fan Experiences is one of his projects, and he, he has signed up numerous artists under this uh, entity here, including people such as Henry Rollins, Toad the Wet Sprocket, I remember them, The Temptations, Scott Bio, Lee Ann Rhymes. So, yes, this man has a very, very interesting past behind him. Of course, now we know him best for the YouTube channel producer, Michael. Um, we've got some trivia things about him. Apparently, I, I'm going to have to ask him about this. Once quoted by Modern Drummer magazine as one of the top 10 drummers in the world. I did not know that. His mother was an Olympic swimmer, and he's fluent in German and Spanish. He's putting me to shame here. So a very interesting character, and we're so excited to have him on the show. So the thing that I, it, it drew him to my attention, let's let's get down to that, because he's going to be joining us not too far off. Um, and that was, of course, the, the YouTube channel. I stumbled across it because I'm interested in watches. And um, so it was really interesting to me that I stumbled across a video where he showed off his watch collection, and he's got a rather fantastic watch collection, a little bit better than mine, uh, certainly in terms of its uh, net value. And um, that was how I discovered it. But 
but then you get the, the, the channel actually kind of deals, I guess, let's say, he, he will explain it better than me, luxury lifestyle kind of theme there based in Los Angeles, California. He's got a co-host or let's say the gentleman who, who does most of the filming and interacts with him uh, a lot on the videos called Adam, who is a, a, a slightly younger guy, and they collaborate to do the channel together. And I find the channel actually... Uh, really enjoyable so they do things like they will they will go and tour luxury mansions or, or houses in in los angeles and you know he'll be saying well oh, 20 oh 22 million dollars that's a bargain isn't it uh but perhaps it is perhaps it is if you've got 22 million dollars um and they're talking about you know luxury cars he's got a big luxury car collection he loves his fragrances too and he's teamed up with fragrance dubois he's got an incredible watch collection uh, the thing that I find um, engaging and charming about the channel is uh, a lot of those channels, obviously, you might expect these people perhaps to be a little pretentious, perhaps to come off people like that, not to come off as the most likable people in the world. Some of them, you know, people who live a lifestyle detached from the uh, the humdrum everyday existence of most of us perhaps could be uh, the kind of people we don't all relate to or want to. But because of his uh, very amiable, affable and self-deprecating nature, you know, the, the humor there, he can laugh at himself. He's someone that you can actually kind of warm to and like and you don't feel excluded from these tours of the luxury houses or when he's showing you his latest Mac mclaren car or whatever you know things that you and i will never probably experience one somehow doesn't feel excluded from the experience and i think that's the charm of the channel and that's why they've got such a, a huge uh, millions of i think two two something million subscribers very huge views on every video and i've got to be honest deservedly so it really is a, a sensational channel so I, I will put the link down there um i would say go and subscribe it gives you something different i always come out of those videos feeling happy after watching them which you might not think because of course yeah it's some of it's about material things and material things most of us don't need and probably will never have so you might think well uh why would that make you feel good but something about the uh, the way they enjoy the lifestyle that they have over there i kind of feel it's it's fun it does it does feel like fun and we all feel included and i like that about producer michael let's talk about the fragrances which of course he will give us his own version of those soon enough so let's get the link for the channel there the producer michael channel i would say let's help him out he's only got 1.49 million let's give him a helping hand like i do with the other guests so producer michael there the link's in the chat, guys. He's going to be joining us at half past the hour, so his arrival is not too far off. Uh, let me know what you think about the channel. Let's get the Super Chats coming in there too, guys. So um, put that across the bottom there. Get the Super Chats coming in. You can ask a question to our special guest tonight. Okay, so most recent thing then with this guy is that he's released two fragrances. I'll give you my opinion on them. Okay, so this is obviously... <laughs> I don't really uh, focus on getting get, uh, sent free stuff too much on my channel. It's not one of my big things that I... Uh, is part of my, if you like, business model for the channel. Um, just checking the sound is on. So, you know, I wasn't sort of uh, doing this to try and get a free bottle or anything. I, I would have quite happily done the interview based on just a sample or something. However, he did exceedingly kindly offer to get Fragrance Dubois to send me his two fragrances. So let me just describe those to you in my own words. Um, and we have the note listing and all that stuff too, hopefully somewhere here, um, which I'm going to share with you guys. So we've got two fragrances. We have PM and we have AM. OK, PM being the first one. So let's do that first. PM from the producer Michael Brand there. PM, amazing, very heavy bottle, uh, a very heavy lid. And the presentation is good. Very thick glass, nicely embossed label, all that kind of. So it's a luxury kind of product. OK, this one is selling, I think it's $450 for 100 mil or 325 pounds. So it is a luxury product. It is, it, it's at the higher end of fragrance prices, let's be honest. 2022 released, and it's Shardy Samra. Shardy Samra, the perfumer there from Fragrance Dubois. OK, top notes, we've got Indian tuberose, my favorite type of tuberose. Um, juniper berries, cardamom and lemon. In the mid-leather cedar, Indonesian patchouli leaf. Again, my, my my favorite patchouli leaf, oris root as well, or otherwise sometimes known as iris. Labdanum is in the base alongside woody notes, amber and benzoin. So this is called PM. And I, somebody told me, don't quote me because I might be wrong, that it was themed after the smell of the leather interior of a brand new Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce. Not something I've ever experienced, but I imagine producer Michael has. And it really is a very 
it, it's a certain so first thing to know it's very strong these are extractor par farm and i did spray some on clothes it actually tells you not to do that because they're a little bit colorful um and it is very tenacious fragrance so it's very very strong fragrance um it has this leathery note in there for sure it's very complex i think uh the fragrance de bois brand do specialize in oud fragrances and like to have that kind of exoticism so it definitely has a potent kind of niche complex feel i really do like this one and i was very very taken with it when i sampled it with my friend there lee loggins um hello funny enough who i met down in london a, a couple of months back lee says fragrance dubois pm best leather scent released last year yeah I, I was really taken with this one and i must say this was this was on video before i ever had any inkling that i would interview producer michael um and you know wasn't angling wasn't angling to get a free bottle okay so i do think this one is really remarkable it's complex it is rich incredibly strong and tenacious it has this kind of um classy refined air and actually producer michael is known for his very flamboyant dress style i think he would uh he'd be okay with me saying that he likes to dress very colorfully he, he wears very colorful shirts and uh, everything is is flamboyant with him so i was thinking okay maybe a producer michael fragrance might not be my cup of tea if it's going to be very in your face smell wise but it, it's very refined and elegant it's kind of more like stealth wealth pure class in this one um combination of the patchouli leather this kind of resinous undertone sort of semi sheepler esque i guess it's very complex. It's not something you can easily sort of pin down and say, oh, it smells like this. It smells like that. I really, really like it. It's maybe the leather record could be a similar one to that of Tuscan leather by Tom Ford, but it's no, nowhere near as prevalent and obvious and in your face as that, which can be a bit brutish. I find it subtle, sophisticated and refined in the scent, but rather prominent, tenacious, dare I say, beast mode in performance. So very, very strong. Good stuff indeed. And congratulations to them. And, and yeah, I was, I was, dare I say, pleasantly su 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 surprised because I thought maybe me and producer Michael might have slightly different tastes, okay? But to be honest, I think that's an absolute winner. So I've been really impressed. And then the other one there is AM. Uh, okay, see what they did there? AM, PM, right? Same price. And this one, I think it's a bit fresher. I don't think you only have to wear one in the morning and one in the afternoon. You can wear them when you like, guys. But uh, we have, again, same perfumer. Shardy Samra, top notes of orange thyme and saffron, mid notes of damask rose. Again, the only rose I will accept. Uh, cedarwood, elemy, patchouli, guyacwood, and ambro ambroxum. So this is actually my scent of the day. This is a little bit more of a kind of fresh green theme, as you would expect with the orange uh, opening note, thyme, saffron. Definitely get the rose accord. And again, there is patchouli. There's a certain DNA that runs through both. And I think this would be a great, you can take your pick of which one you prefer. This this one leaning a tiny little bit more fresh, although I don't think it's it's sort of, you know, if you'll pardon the, this way of looking at it, it's not night and day. You don't only have to wear one in the daytime and one in the nighttime. Look, they are very luxurious smelling. They are classy. AM is the one I'm talking about now. So uh, PM is producer Michael. So what's AM? I don't know. Uh, we'll have to ask him what his other job is. Uh, a, what's the job that begins with A? Um, no, I think <laughs> we'll have to ask him about that. So very good stuff. AM, again, very luxurious smell. Uh, it's it's fresh, it's green, it's complex. It's hard to pin down. You can't really say, oh, it smells a bit like that. It smells, it smells a bit like that. Now, yes, I was sent them free, and I'm hardly going to say it's bad. As Jimbo points out, well, you might have a point there. But, well, at the end of the day, I don't think anybody smelling them really would say that they are bad. They are excellent fragrances. And, uh, are, you know, uh, uh, I am open about the fact that I, I was surprised to be sent them free. I don't have any particular desire to solicit more free fragrances from Fragrance de Bois or anybody else. So I'm not going to go crazy, you know, uh, suddenly saying that all their fragrances are the only things I, I like smelling. I think they're great, great fragrances and well done to him for releasing them and everything he's done in his career. Fascinating man. AM is Ali McCoist. Could be. Uh, I, I'd hate to think what a fragrance from him would smell like. Um, but let, let's, uh, yeah, let's leave that for another day. Guys, hit the uh, super chat button there. We need a couple of super chats are coming in. So, guys, let's uh, get ready for the arrival of uh, producer Michael soon enough. Hey, here we go. Super chat, real deal with the two pound super chat, baby super chat song. Turned up to 11, says the real deal with a two pound super chat. Really appreciate the generous super chat. Thank you so much. Um, Thank you. Well, you asked for it. You've got it. Let's put on the uh, baby super chat song for you there. Na, 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 na. Baby super chat, super chat, baby super chat. 
Bring in some super chats, let's get this thing happening. Super chat, baby. <laughs> super chat, let's get this on, baby. That's right, guys. Keep the super chats coming. Okay, guys, so uh, talk to me down in the chat. We will hit the super chat when Michael gets on. Yeah, of course. Um, do they pull compliments and get panty, drop panties, though? Um, let's ask producer Michael. I've always said no fragrance will do that. No, no fragrance will do that. They certainly have a refined and, and sophisticated air, which I do enjoy. They don't smell, you know, I like my old school. I wouldn't say they smell old school, but they have a kind of classic potency about them that I do kind of enjoy. I guess they're powerhouses for the modern day Dan Schilling for fragrance. Well, I will never do, you know, I'm that, that's not my business model. Look, there are many other fragrances you can buy. You can buy cheap fragrances. You can buy Galan fragrances. You can buy uh, Aqua de Palma fragrances that you may, you may quite possibly also enjoy just as much. Honestly, I can't say uh, that these fragrances don't smell very good because they really do. But believe you me, guys, this is, you know, there's no big deal here for me uh, to, you know, I, I'm not deluding myself that I'm suddenly going to get a load of bottles of fragrance de bois dropping through the post box. Nor do I necessarily desire that, but uh, it's going to be exciting. Actually, I'm very interested not only to talk about the fragrances, but the man himself, Mr. Smelly. How many milfs have you managed to seduce this week? None, I'm afraid, guys. Can't talk too much about my personal life beyond that. But uh, yes, sub Rolls Royce interior. In keeping with the luxury theme tonight, my uh, watch or well, wristwatch of the night is a Rolex GMT. I'm sure producer Michael wouldn't have time for an old banger like this. 1999 Rolex GMT with a faded bezel. But we want to ask him about his watches. He's got all these diamond encrusted Audemars Piguet's. Um, so we'll, we'll, let's um, let's see what he says about that. The chat is really uh, active and moving fast tonight. Hello, Mr. Clean. Thank you for sorting. I, I saw there was a little bit of a troll thing earlier. I really do appreciate you intervening there to get rid of him. Uh, thank you so much. Buddha has granted you energy. Thank you so much. What up, Ski? Good to see you in the chat. Um, let's just get rid of that. Okie dokie, Dan Toys. I was out in the garden, actually, today. Some nice weather here in southeast England, interior of a mini metro. That would be my fragrance, wouldn't it? Um, okay, hey, or producer Michael is a beast mode fragrance. Yeah, are you talking about the PM? PM is actually good. I tell you what, guys, yeah, let's come to AM, which is a newer one, but I've been dealing with PM for a while because I've had a sample. PM is a remarkably uh, classy, refined fragrance. It's very potent as well. But it's uh, it's also got depth and comple complexity. What do you think about that? How would you feel about getting a, a PM from Fragrance de Bois with the? I mean, w when you buy the bottle and stuff, it's not pushing the fragrance that the producer Michael aspect too much there. So if you didn't happen to know who he was, you know that that doesn't. You, you don't have to be a producer Michael fanatic to like or, or know the fragrance. Um, we're going to ask him about the cost and everything. I will I will grill him about the price because obviously it's it's not a cheap fragrance. Um, the pr presentation, then, you know, it's good. It's 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 very luxurious looking. Let's be honest. Um, it also comes in a box, which is like this. Whoops. And apparently, this the actual box here is made of carbon fiber, which maybe ties in with his love of cars. Is, is that right? They, some of them have carbon fiber, so it's not just made of plastic or something, which is it's kind of fancy. So yeah, I mean. Yes, you can argue it's an expensive fragrance, but I guess, you know, 350 pounds or 325, it's not an unheard of amount of money that you might spend on a gift for a loved one or something. And I think if you present them with that, it is quite good. But guys, let me know your opinions. It's all about opinions. And the Mr. Smully 1977 show here is all about the free exchange of those opinions. So guys, let's uh, let's have a look. Uh, AM wants to hear more about this AM fragrance. Well, you would do. It's after named after you. So maybe it was named after you. So here we go, guys. Um, producers, let's catch up on the chat, guys. Hit the super chat button there. Do they smell unisex? I believe they are marketed as such. Let's ask. I would. It's so hard now to say anything about that because everything's for everyone isn't it let's ask him how they're marketed I, I believe they probably will be marketed for everybody yeah I, I, I would say so the real deal with the two pound super chat there let's keep those super chats coming in that was the last one we had super chats are a little thin on the it's tough it's tough out there the the audience out there 
is uh, is really tough this time of year. Lee Loggins, factoid, fragrance de bar PM, first box to incorporate far carbon fiber on the lid. Uh, is that right? Okay. I did not know that. Thank you for telling me, Lee Loggins. He is the man with the inside scoop on this brand. Here we go. Does Adam wear the AP or does he baby it? Okay. Let's thank you for a generous super chat there. We really appreciate that. Thank you. Ain't no meaning. I will take a little picture of that. That's a great question. So Adam is his, his collaborator on the Producer Michael channel. I didn't know he had an, uh, an Odomar Pigay watch. Um, did Producer Michael buy him that? Useful man to have as a friend, right? Uh, thank you very much for the generous $2 super chat. Ain't no meaning. Keep those coming. And we will carry on down there. Nice watch, says DJ Pugwash. Thank you. I do like it. I just realized Mr. Smelly is Dan. That's correct. Indeed. Yes. I have to admit the PM is, uh, it is tenacious. Tenacious is a good word for that one. It's a very strong fragrance. PM, 24 hours projection. Nuts. It's strong. Only on the lid, Dan. Okay. The lid is made of carbon fiber. Okay. It does look different to the rest. I get it. Okay. Let's see if we can demonstrate that. Is that the... Is that the carbon fiber bit? Okay. Interesting. Yes, it's a very luxurious box, I have to say. It, it, you know, it would be a great thing to gift to somebody. It's a generous present, but I think it would be really good. Um, yeah, you know, uh, here's my thing on what things are, you know, is it worth that much money, fragrance? Things are worth what people are willing to pay for them. So you want to buy a watch that looks okay? You want to tell the time? You can buy a Seiko watch. You can buy... You can buy an Apple Watch. You can buy many. You can buy a Seiko watch for 100 and something. You can buy a watch for 50 pounds. It tells the time perfectly and probably looks okay. It's up to you, but some people spend 2,000. Some people spend 10,000. Some people spend 100,000. If people are willing to pay that, then I guess it's, there's no such thing as what some things are worth what people are willing to pay for them. And if they're not willing to pay for them, then the business won't succeed, will it? So if it is succeeding, the stuff's obviously worth that. Let's be honest about it. It's a market economy, whether you like it or not. So that, that's my take on that. Okie dokie. Let's catch up on the comments there. Um, Les Odorants did not talk too fondly about the PM fragrance. Well, there's always going to be different opinions about anything. This is the nature of the internet. It would be boring if it wasn't that way. Uh so, yes, it was PM gift to him. Yes, I did get them. Guys, I am not interested in free fragrances, okay? I mean, I, I this is not my business model. I don't care. If producer Michael uh, was, if I, if I said they were terrible and producer Michael never spoke to me again, I wouldn't have lost anything terrible. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to do that because they are very good. And, I've, and I do like producer Michael. It would be very rude as well. But, you know, there, there is no massive incentive here. I don't think producer Michael is going to fly me out to Los Angeles and give me a job. If he wants to, actually, if he wants, I don't even know if I'd want that. So I am not, there's nothing in this for me. I promise you guys, I'll be looking for material tonight. So sweet milk. He's a, one of the people in one of the troll groups. Good for you. Um, go ahead. Please come back, Boz. I'm lonely. I think we've blocked Boz. I got tired. I got sick. Of, I got tired of his behavior there in the chat. Uh, okay, Rachel, Yoshi, Jimbo. Hello, Aram V. Good to see you. Ah, right. I see. Yeah, I would assume that's what he meant. Paul Gautieri there says he was talking about the watch uh adam got as a gift what a gift that's a very nice gift if, if that was indeed the case okay so i think producer michael will be joining us not too far off from now but let's catch up with you guys how have you been doing this week what's been going on in your world where are you based in the world what are you drinking tonight what's your scent of the night mine is producer michael am got a bit in the lid here it's got this very charming the, the color sort of gives you it, there is a greenness in this fragrance there's definitely a greenness let me let me check the note listing again uh it, it, it isn't something i find easy to typecast as some like everything else i've smoked so orange thyme and saffron damask rose cedarwood lme patchouli gaiac wood and ambroxan it's definitely a very versatile fragrance it's very wearable in different situations i wouldn't say it's necessarily i think it'd be fine in summer spring Autumn, and I, I think it's all year round. Um, interesting brand. This is an extract de parfum. Do not spray directly on fabric. I did find that out the hard way, actually, on a shirt the other day. It has a kind of light green color. Really, really interesting, fascinating fragrance. Potent, classy, enigmatic, charismatic. A little bit like myself. Or maybe 
producer Michael as well. We're, we're kind of cut from the same cloth, aren't we there, guys? Um, so here we go. Comments in the chat there. Dave, it comes down to, if you think they are good, personally, I wouldn't pay 400, but that's just me. Yeah, it, it, it's it's a matter of your personal opinion. Absolutely. And that's fine. $3 super chat, super sticker, Aram V. Really appreciate the generous support in the chat. Super sticker from Aram V. Guys, hit the thumbs up button. Super sticker from Aram V with a $3 super chat. We really appreciate that. We're building up super uh, producer Michael. Let's just put that across the screen. Producer Michael will be joining us in about six minutes-ish. And uh, I'm really looking forward to having a chat with him. Uh, one of my, to be honest with you guys, when I look at my own life, the uh, the appalling charade and failure that is, then I look at producer Michael and think maybe I can learn something from this man. So I'm going to try and get a few tips from him. It, it is the winning at life uh, now community. I've rechristened the uh, myself as no longer part of the fragrance community, but more part of the winning at life community. So perhaps I can get a few kernels of knowledge from producer Michael. Perhaps we can compare notes. Perhaps he can advise me on what I'm doing wrong on my channel. I would be very interested to hear his thoughts on that. Okay, guys. So let's, uh, AM, what's your center of the day? We need to know. Dude, says Mr. Clean. Uh, Jack's Florida man, center of the night. Hey, I like that one. Jack's Florida man. Thank you for the comment. Center of the night. Tom Ford, Costa Azura, summer class, baby. Great, great fragrance. I sold my Rolex, Dan. Lewis, you sold your Rolex. Did you have a Rolex? Why didn't you mention this to me? Why did you sell it? Please explain that in the chat there, Lewis. I need to know. I, I think this sounds like you You may be taking the piss. Uh, not to put too fine a, fine a point on it. Let's catch up with the rest of the chat. Paulie Gaultieri there is wearing center of the day. is an Aroli Portofino Tom Ford. I've got to be honest. It is a very good fragrance. It, it, it's not the most exciting fragrance. It's soapy and fresh, and one tends to uh, perhaps not be so excited about it these days because there's so many other things come out influenced by variations on that theme. But to be honest, Tom Ford's and Aroli Portofino, when it came out, was a real hit. Do you know, it originally came out in a brown bottle, and then it came out in the blue bottle eventually. It is a very nice, fresh, soapy fragrance. It gives you a lift, and it's a kind of happy smell. There's loads of clones... It does seem to be one <coughs> where the clone companies, <coughs> excuse me, seem to be able to clone it quite successfully. Uh, and there are other alternatives to Neroli Portofino, Portofino that many people do seem to enjoy. Now, uh, producer Michael is backstage. If uh, if he's ready to join, we can bring him in straight away. Uh, hopefully he is. But I'll give him a second just to settle down there. He may just be setting up his, uh, his stuff. And we're going to give him a, a spectacular intro. So, guys, get ready for the entrance of producer Michael. Uh, I told you I wasn't making this up. It is honestly true. Uh, let's just catch up on a couple of comments down there in the chat. So I will bet you his shirt is bright red and blue and green. Okay, let's, there's only one way to find out. I think he's ready to join. Uh, let's see if he is. And um, producer Michael, give us a nod if you're ready to come on. He's ready. Okay, well, let's give him a warm Mr. Smelly uh, welcome here with the traditional applause. Guys, uh, get ready for the entrance of producer Michael. I like it. Producer Michael, hello. How are you, Dan? Great. It's such a pleasure to have you here. Welcome and thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me on your show. It's very exciting to have you here. Okay, so people are very excited that you've uh, you've agreed to come on the show tonight. Thank you. It's a real uh, a, ple a pleasure and an honor. I've been following your channel since 2018. I love your style on the channel. And we're going to find out a little bit about you overall and, of course, about your fantastic fragrances. Uh, but first of all, how are things going today over there for you, I presume, in Los Angeles? Yeah, Beverly Hills, California. It's a beautiful, sunny day. And I have to say, I have never done one of these lives before. This is a wow. first for me. And, uh, yeah, I don't even know how to get out of it if I don't like it. <laughs> well, you just say, uh, you know, uh, I've got something in the oven and uh, I've got to go and deal with it. You can, as soon as you need to go, you just let me know. I'm very honoured. I can't think why on earth you've honoured me in this way, but I, I'm not going to jinx it. I'm not going to ask why. I'm so flattered and, and grateful. So thank you so much. So, uh, producer Michael, great pleasure. I've been telling people a little bit about the background of you, so people are clued in a little bit here. We're going to find out a bit about you and the fragrances. So let me put you uh, on the grill straight away and ask you, the, the first thing I just want to ask you, if you could just fill us in a little bit 
about your early life and your career before the producer Michael channel started? Yeah, so um, I've been in the entertainment industry pretty much all my life from being a kid. I, I, uh, I was born in London and then uh, at a young age moved to Spain with my parents. And then um, after schooling in Spain, I went to Germany. So I had kind of an eclectic type of uh, life growing up, but I was always into music. Uh, I started playing drums at about the age of six or seven. And I don't want to say I was great at it, but I became decent enough to hold a pair of drumsticks without embarrassing myself. So, um, you know, I started playing studios and people liked what I did. And then uh, I was, you know, one day I, I was sitting in for another drummer and the drummer actually arrived that I was sitting in for. So uh, what I ended up doing was sitting in the control room and watching how the whole process went, watching the producer. And I really liked it. You know, I thought, maybe I can do that. So uh, that's how my production career in music at least started. Wow. Okay. And I, I believe you, you, you came from, you know, re relatively uh, typical origins back there in the UK. I believe you, is that right to say that you were once working with the, the British military uh, in, in uh, West Berlin? Is that true? Yeah. So what actually happened was I ran away from home, um, oh. home being Spain at that time. And I, I had a, you know, a disagreement with my parents as youngsters sometimes do. Anyway, I ran away to, to Spain and uh, I didn't really calculate the move before I did it because I went with no money. I had absolutely nowhere to stay, nothing to do. So uh, there I was in Germany and I arrived. And now what? And this was West Berlin. This is when the war was up. And at that time, uh, Berlin was split into three uh, different territories. You had the French territory, British and the American. So... Um, what can I do? So I went and got myself a job washing dishes for the British Army. Not not in the Army, but as a civilian uh, in the right. office mess. Uh, and, and I can't really say it was very enjoyable. But it did get a roof over my head. And, uh, you know, that was that was my start of my rebellion. It's a fascinating story. OK, now I just before we get into the sort of more recent stuff about you and your channel, there are a couple of key facts. Actually, I was just researching a little bit more about you today. And are these things that I found on this uh, online page all true? Here's a bit of trivia that is quoted about you online, uh, Michael. Oh, you no. were once quoted by Modern Drummer magazine as one of the top 10 drummers in the world. Yeah, embarrassingly so. Um, that was a long time ago. And I don't know why they said it, and I don't know how it happened. But yeah, it was a true statement. That is phenomenal. And what was the band that you were in at that time? Well, at that time, I was a studio musician. Um, oh, I, see. I right. actually ended up playing with a bunch of different bands. But uh, I was a studio musician, and I was you know, going from studio to studio, playing on some very, very well-known records. And, uh, yeah, somehow, I don't know how it happened, but they, they did, they mentioned that. But none of it's true, other than they mentioned it. I think you're far too modest, but that this is one of your endearing qualities. All right, we'll take your word for it. But, I, I, yeah, obviously, you... you uh, have got some uh, some great prowess in the drumming department. Um, okay, we've got a couple of a couple of quick questions, supplementary to the ones that the main ones that I'm going to ask you. We've had a couple of super chat questions, which are all kind of fun. So we, let me just go with those. Um, we've got one that I was actually very interested to ask you. You do like watches, so I'm just going to quickly slip this one in. Uh, Ain't no meaning gave us a five dollar super chat. He wanted to know what was producer Michael's first high end watch purchase, and does he still have it? What's a super chat? Well, this is when people pay money to have their comment highlighted. This is the only way I make my living, producer Michael. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay, people then. can pay money for a special highlighted comment. So somebody then would I, like to know your first high-end watch. And do you still I have better it? give a very thorough answer then. Um, my first high-end watch was a Rolex. It was a uh, stainless steel Submariner, black dial, black bezel. And I was... I believe I was either 16 or 17 at the time. Okay, I assume you don't have it, but maybe maybe you do. I wish I had it. I don't have it anymore, unfortunately. All right, we'll come on to some of your other interests outside of the, the YouTube channel and the fragrances, because I do want to grill you about A lot of people in our channel chat there are interested in the watches. We've got one more quick super chat, if you don't mind. Uh, a couple of these could be fun. $4.99 super chat. Thank you, Rachel K. Ung. Really appreciate that. Producer Michael, do you ever shop at Beverly Hills Perfumery? They're so nice. I have. Uh, I've actually bought a couple of bottles of fragrance from them. 
going back a little bit before I had my own. But uh, yeah, super nice people. Thank you so much, Rachel, for the generous super chat. A uh, couple of quick more, a couple of super chats there. One from the same person, Rachel K. Unk, who's a great regular guest here. She would like to know any Will, Willie Nelson stories from producer Michael. Did you work with Willie Nelson? I did. Yeah, uh, I, I could tell you a lot of Willie Nelson stories. I'll tell you a very funny one. Go on. So um, I did a record. I produced a record called the Patsy Cline Duets, uh, which was the first duet record ever created uh, by somebody who was not by somebody with a past person, someone who had died. So we took the, the mono tracks uh, and we put it together with contemporary artists. And one of the duets was Willie Nelson. So I'd already re recorded, I think, four or five tracks with different artists. They were totally normal uh, tracks, to totally normal recordings. The artist would come in the studio would spend a day going over the vocal, and then at the end of the day, we, we you know, would put it into the track. So on the day, it was, I'll never forget this, it was a Friday, and uh, I'm scheduled to record with, with Willie. Uh, it was about 10 o'clock in the morning we were scheduled to record. Anyway, 10 goes, 11 goes, 12 goes, no, no Willie. And uh, I, I call his manager and say, yeah, he's on his way, he's on his way. And whilst I was actually on the phone, Willie walks into the studio. So I said, oh, he's here, he's here, you know, and uh, that's great. So uh, I talk to him, I tell him what we're going to do. He's never heard the track before. And um, I rephrase that. He'd never heard this rendition of the track because this is a, a brand new track created for the purpose of a duet. So he said, um, oh, let me have a run through it. I'll, I'll go in the, in the uh, vocal booth and uh, record it. So, okay. So he goes in the vocal booth, he's got the lyric sheet, and I said to him, uh, you know, this is now through his headset. Yeah. Uh, you want to play the track once or twice so you can hear, you know, how, how it runs? He says, no, no, I'll just sing along with it. So, okay. He says, record it. I said, okay. So I uh, tell the engineer, you know, record the track, roll tape, and he starts to sing. He sings all the way through the song. It's awful. And then he takes the headset off, and he walks into the control room and said, very nice meeting you. Um, do your best you can with it. And I said, say what? And he said, use the vocal. I said, it doesn't even fit the track. He said, well, you're a magician. Fix it. I did. And that's the vocal that I used on the actual record. It was a, a scratch vocal that was horrible, but we were able to rescue it. So uh, it, it didn't turn out exactly as the duet was supposed to be because there were certain areas we couldn't use his vocal, but it was a fun time. Well, you, you must have been a very good producer. That's and, and he story. wasn't he wasn't entirely sober when he arrived either. Ah. It was about twelve midday. Okay, <laughs> fantastic. But a super story. nice guy, okay. and and I've met him many many times, and he's a very nice guy. Ah, oh, brilliant story, and uh, well, this this shows why you are where you are today. If you can fix that kind of thing, okay. A couple of very quick ones that people have asked because I do think it's fun to have audience interaction, and I do have some more uh, structured questions for you. There, uh, ain't no meaning. Gave us a, a generous two dollar super chat. He wants to know, uh, Michael, does Adam, that's uh, the collaborator on the producer Michael channel, does he wear the AP, that's an Odomar Pigay's watch, or does he baby it? Uh, I'm not aware that he has an AP. Ah, okay. Um, so I you, did I, you generously buy him a Rolex or something? I, I bought him uh, a Panerai. Um, ah. I actually took him into the store and told him he could pick anything he wanted, and he chose that. Um, at the time when he did this, he didn't know, you know, the difference of values of watches, and and yep. that was a good thing because I wanted him to pick something based on what he liked rather than what it cost, and. Uh, AP was one of his contenders. I, I love APs, but he ended up picking a Panerai, and yes, he does wear it. Glad okay. to hear it. All right. Um, we've got very a couple of quickies as well, and then we'll get into the main themes for the show. <laughs> this is a traditional question that all our guests do get asked. I'm actually kind of interested here. Yoshi Yoshi with a $1.99 super chat. Thank you. What did Michael have for lunch today? I haven't had lunch yet. Ah, there you go. Straight it's answer. Like, straight what time is it? 3.30 3 here in L.A., uh, it's late, actually. I should have had lunch, but I've been doing emails and all sorts of things and completely forgot to eat. Well, that's a straight answer to a straight question. Last one, and I hope you'll forgive this slightly uh, impertinent question here. This is related to a video a while back. This is Ain't No Meaning with a $2 super chat. Did producer Michael ever learn what ood means? Ha! 
<laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can really explain it properly. It's fine. I, I, I don't I really know, understand. I know it's something that's incredibly popular in uh, in the Middle East. Um, I don't know where it comes from. I don't know how it's created, uh, but I like the smell of it. It's actually a type of wood that's been infected with a certain fungus which causes it to mature in a very particular way and produces a, a, a fragrance which has been used throughout the eons uh, wow. and originally in the Middle East. So that, that's the actual, it's, it's sort of a, a wood that's gone rotten and produces this incredible smell. We've got a great uh, comment there. Great guest, two pound super chat. Thank you so much for the comment there. We really appreciate that. Okay, let's move on. Um, thank you so much for the great answers so far. Okay, let's get into the, the current uh, era then, producer Michael. We have, uh, for the uninitiated, because not everyone here may know of your channel, please do go and check out the channel. I highly recommend it. For the uninitiated, what is the producer Michael YouTube channel all about? Well, I guess inspiration more than anything. Um, it wasn't my idea. It was it was actually Adam's idea. Adam's my videographer uh, and and yep. kind of co-host on the channel. Um, he I, I met him at a, a car shoot. He was a photographer taking pictures of cars, and uh, I was there with one of my crazy cars. And we, we met, and we chatted, and long story short, uh, we became friends. And he said to me, "Why don't we Why don't we uh, start a YouTube channel?" And I said, well, why would I do that? Who's going to want to watch me? You know, it's not like I'm a 16-year-old jumping off uh, skyscrapers onto trampolines. You know, there's nothing really exciting <laughs> going on in my life. And uh, he said, well, you know, you, you live a very interesting lifestyle, very different to most people. You know, you've got a lot of toys that people would like to see. Um, and if you, you know, want to show them, he, he thought and believed that the channel would do well. So I was like, you know, it's hard to show expensive items luxury items without you know creating animosities people not liking you for it uh and then i said to myself you know what i'm not i'm not apologetic for anything i have everything i have i've worked for nobody gave me anything uh if, if people knew what i've put into my life work wise they would you know they, they, they wouldn't begrudge me at least that was my my thought at the time so i said sure let's let's do a video and if it gets 500 views we'll maybe consider doing a, a second video Anyway, the video did like 70,000 views or something crazy. So now I was, I was, I don't want to say hooked, but uh, I was invested in it. You know, I thought, let's see where it goes. And then it, it just built from there. And I have this thing, I'm a great believer that anybody, and I really mean this, anybody can have anything they want if they want it badly enough. I was washing dishes, you know, when I was 19 for the British Army. Nobody gave me anything. I am totally self-made. Uh, and I'm no smarter than anybody else. So, you know, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Yeah, you've got to have a little bit of luck, but you've got to have perseverance, dedication, and that, that attitude where, hey, it just doesn't matter what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it until I'm successful. And, you know, that, that's how you gain success. So I wanted to kind of say that in my videos, show nice things, tell people where I came from, how, you know, it's possible and, uh I, I believe it helps people. So that, that's why I do it. Really. I, I, I totally agree with you on that one. I'm just going to catch up on a couple of little comments there. Uh, $19.99 Super Chat. Thank you so much, DJ Pugwash. I think he's here especially for producer Michael. He was saying earlier, just happy to be here. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, hey, DJ oh, Pugwash, is that money for me or is it for Dan? <laughs> We'll discuss that later. Um, <laughs> Rachel, K <laughs> Rachel K with a four dollar ninety nine super chat. What advice? This this follows on from what you've just said, actually. Uh, thank you, Rachel K for the generous super chat. Four dollar ninety nine super chat. What advice does producer Michael have to young people today and how to make it in today's world? My and uh, she says my high school kids want to know his answer. Great question, which follows on from what, what you were just saying. If you don't mind, uh, Michael. No, no, I don't mind. You ask me as many questions as you like. Um, right. This is, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a wonderful question. And again, going back to what I said, I believe anybody can have anything they want. But the first thing is you have to be passionate about what it is that you want to do. Because if, if you're passionate and you really enjoy what it is you're doing, you're not working. You're, you're fulfilling yourself. You're doing something and it's going to repay you in, in dollars that puts the roof over your head. So, you know, to me, uh, follow your passion, follow your, your, your loves in life. 
um, become the best you can at it and uh, be better than other people doing the same thing. Great answer. Thank you so much for the super chat. Just on what you were saying about the channel there, Michael, I, I must say that this is what I really find that makes me want to watch it because I, I, I wouldn't ordinarily find myself drawn necessarily to a channel about luxury mansions in Beverly Hills or, you know, um, jewelry that's worth a million dollars. And I stumbled across your channel because I quite, quite like watches. So I saw one of your really early uh, watch collection videos. And then I think it's just the, the sort of, uh, it's partly the relationship between yourself and Ad, uh, and Adam and the ability to sort of laugh at yourselves and that the whole thing isn't taken too seriously and yet it's giving us a little glimpse into a world perhaps most of us don't experience but it, somehow we don't feel alienated from it we sort of feel that we're, we're part of it with you and I think that's a, a real credit to, to you and to Adam that, that the show comes across as a very two very relatable people I don't know if it's an English thing I don't know but there's a sense of ability it's to laugh about, at yourself it's, yeah. it's more about sharing rather than saying look what i have yeah. you know enjoy this with me uh yeah. and, and i know it's easy for me to say that because it's mine but <laughs> enjoy it with me you know have fun with it and you know if i pull a light off a wall in the house um laugh at it because i didn't mean <laughs> to it just happened things happen doesn't matter what you've got in the bank account you can fall down the flight of stairs just as easily as anyone else right you do make me laugh out loud a lot with the, some of the comments on the video. So it, it is really uh, it, it is really an enjoyable experience. Very generous super chat there. Australian $20 super chat. Thanks, Lee. Lee actually introduced me to the PM fragrance. So thanks to you, Lee. Hello, Dan and producer Michael. Congratulations on both stunning creations collab with Fragrance Dubois. Uh, love PM is incredible. Truly fits your brief. Luxury fragrance incorporate Rolls Royce leather woods and fragrance Dubois wild flowers indeed thank you lee that's a very generous super chat we are coming to the fragrances very soon and i agree uh, i was always fascinated with that fragrance since i tried it so thank you lee for the very generous super chat um yeah and absolutely. thank you lee for the very nice comment I, i'm delighted that you like it He's, he's a, a huge uh, part of the fragrance community. And actually, I, I, I owe him for introducing me to your fragrances. So I do I'm thank you. I'm very glad he did. Yes. Uh, now, speaking of fragrances, a fantastic segue there. We, uh, the next thing I wanted to ask you there, Michael, is you, you, you do have quite a big fragrance collection. So is that something you've always been uh, interested in, smelling good? I adore fragrances. I, I really do. Um, always have. And, and I think, you know, cleanliness is very very important it's a very important part of life and i think the final touch to cleanliness when you're clean is put a little something on that emanates that that cleanliness and and i think that's where really good fragrances come into play yeah you like the finer things in life and I, i've really enjoyed a couple of your earlier fragrance videos uh, they were very very entertaining and you have a, a spectacular collection actually so um yeah it's uh, it's it's if you like the finer things in life, obviously there are big things like cars and houses and uh, six-figure watches. But, uh, you know, on a much more affordable level, one of the finest things in life we can enjoy is a bottle of fragrance. And, you know, that, you know whether it's a $50 fragrance or $300, it's not the same league as an incredibly expensive car. But we can, we can, we can enjoy the finest things in life in terms of fragrances without actually... Uh, breaking the bank e even those of us watching yeah. this who, who aren't millionaires so that that is the nice thing i always say about fragrance there are much more expensive hobbies out there okay great comments there thank you for the chat hope you don't mind going off uh, a la carte menu here off 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 menu ain't no meaning with a five dollar super chat will producer michael and adam take a virgin galactic trip and make a youtube video from it the ultimate luxury well thank you for the super chat. Adam, adam can do that by himself i'm not going <laughs> more adventurous than you yes okay <laughs> I, I i can understand your your point of view that he, he's got some amazing videos isn't he he's, he's out there on jet skis and stuff going all out in the ocean and stuff he's he's, he's quite a daredevil isn't he yeah he likes the uh, outdoor life he, he lives yeah. in the woods type of thing well no that's not true he doesn't live in the woods but he likes to go out and live in the woods he, he does have, have a you know very nice place yeah he has a great channel too uh it's adam's adam swords is it the channel i think Correct. Yes, very good channel too. Um, DJ Pugwash, thank you so much for the $4.99 super chat. Is Caroline still like swimming pools? Now, this is some of the ladies who show you around the houses have been asked to jump into swimming pools. Am I right there, producer Michael? Just this one. 
Um, right. And it, it, it actually came up in a house tour. She made some comments somewhere. And I said, you know, if, if this video gets 100,000 likes or whatever it was, I don't remember the number, um, we'll push Caroline in a pool. And needless to say, it did. It got a lot of right. likes. So needless to say, I pushed Caroline in the pool. But she wanted to be pushed in the pool. She dressed for the occasion. I think that's fair enough. $4.99 Super Chat. Thank you, DJ Pugwash. We really appreciate it. Okay, let's come to the key matter at hand then. Uh, I'm going to talk about your fragrances. Now, I have just been describing them to the audience before you came on. My scent of the night is the fabulous AM, the newest release, 2023 release. These are from Fragrance de Bois Perfumer. The fabulous Shadi Samra, and uh, so this, this one, one is my scent of the night. Oh, look at look at this oh, one! Oh goodness grief! I'll just put you full screen. It's oh, the hang on a minute. version. You would have to have that, wouldn't you? Right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Make That's me normal size again. Okay, sorry. <laughs> That's spectacular. Okay, don't tell How me that one. Actual... Oh God! I know. <laughs> Sorry. I hope those are just plastic fake diamonds. Please don't tell me they're the, real. The, the Swarovski crystals. Oh, not bad. Okay. The next spec thing. Okay. They, the the presentation, even in the, the normal version, uh, I must say the presentation is very impressive. Uh, the bottle is, things that are heavy, usually they're luxurious. And this is very heavy. The, the glass, the lid, the sprayer, I've got to be frank here. This is one of the best sprayers. Look at this. Hang on. Where do we go? Here. It's like it really puts out a very luxurious spray, I, I have to say. Uh, fantastic fragrances. They're complex. They're rich. They're very fascinating to me. I was very taken with PM long before I thought that I might get a bottle from you or interview you. So I've always been a fan of that one. And AM seems a spectacular follow up. So I just wanted to ask you, um, tell us about the two fragrances. They've been released with Fragrance Dubois 2022, 2023. How did this come about? How did you get connected with these guys? And, and, and what was the process of you creating them? How involved were you in that process, Michael? So I, I was incredibly involved. Uh, we, we went through, I think it was something like 1,400 different samples before we, we got it right. Uh, that's actually about 700 on each one. One was like 680 and one was about 720. Um, and wow. you know, the, the way it came about is I had done a fragrance video, as you know, and uh, yes. I was contacted actually by Fragrance du Bois, and they asked me if uh, I would like to receive one of their fragrances. And I, and I said, I, I would love that. Let me pay for it. I don't want it for nothing. And they said, no, no, let, let, let us send you one over. And they wow. sent me a bottle, and it, it was just divine. And the, the bottle was class. Everything, everything was really nice. And I sent them a, an email back saying, thank you really enjoy this, it's going to be one of the prides of my collection, blah, blah, blah. And then they came back and said, you know, would you want to consider a collaboration? Perhaps we can make a producer Michael fragrance. Not something I'd ever thought about, contemplated. And I said, hey, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. What's the process? Now, I, I have a lot of fragrances, many, many bottles of fragrances, but I don't know the first thing about fragrances, just in Full transparency, I have no That's idea. That's very honest of you to put it that it was way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, once we got into talks about doing this, uh, I, I said I, I wanted to create, and I know this is a stupid thing to say, but I wanted to create the best, longest-lasting, all-natural ingredient, best-smelling fragrance ever. And they said, yeah, I think everybody does. You know, they kind of laughed at me. I said, well, let's let's attempt it. And um, Shaddy, who was the, the, the perfumer that, that put this together, uh, he, he's a very, very well-known and very uh, holds very high accolades in the perfume world, uh, started creating these different fragrances. I told him, you know, what, what my, I think it was my top 10 fragrances, what I really enjoyed, what I liked, mm -hmm. what I was trying to create. And then he started the creation process. And I must say the first probably 20 or 30, although they smelled very good, they were not what I wanted. Um, so we just continued doing it. And eventually, and when I say eventually, it took about a year to get PM uh, the, the way that I wanted it. And, and like I say, it only has the finest ingredients in it. Uh, they're, they're all natural. And uh, I, I, if you've worn it, you know one spray will last three or four days. 
it's I, I can attest to that yeah and um you know I'm, I, I I'm not just saying this because you know I'm I, I, obviously I'm I'm very delighted to talk to you but I, this was one thing that I really did notice I sprayed it on a jumper and <laughs> you know it was I, if I'd worn that jumper the next day I wouldn't have needed to reapply the fragrance it was it was very very potent so they are very strong extractor parfum which is very very high concentration yeah so i actually don't spray it on my skin i i spray it on my clothes uh because right. one, one little spray uh, on my shirt and it's good it, it could last weeks to tell you the truth it doesn't go away <laughs> i did find um, that I, yes i actually had a shower yesterday really scrubbed myself cleanly got out thought oh i'm nice and clean and then i thought hang on one minute what's that smell and it yeah. was still on the back of my hand so i i, I, I can attest to that yeah and that, that is something I wanted. Now, if I make, can, can I throw something else out there? Of course. So people will look at this, and it is not an inexpensive fragrance. Uh, far from it. It is not an mm. inexpensive fragrance. But to me, it's less expensive than a cheap fragrance. Because, A, you only need the tiniest little bit. One bottle of this will last 10 times what the same size bottle of anything else will last. One spray will last a long, long, long time. Uh, and again, um, I, I not because I'm on the channel with you here. I want you to tell the, the truth the way it is. Don't sugarcoat anything for anybody. Mm. Uh, if I say anything that's, that's not correct, straighten me out on it. Like I say, I'm not a perfume guy. But out of the, the, the hundreds of fragrances that I have, nothing compares to the longevity, not even close. And that was one of the things that I wanted. And there are a couple of things in here that are not in other fragrances. And that's what makes that happen. And the reason they're not in other fragrances is because it's incredibly expensive to do. Um, so again, that's one of the reasons why it is priced at what it's priced. It's not you know, massive profits the way some people might look at it. It, it, it was created for that purpose. Okay. Uh, I, I listen. I, I certainly agree that they they I, I, they really are long lasting and very very potent indeed. Uh, and but they're not overwhelming, yeah. right? They're not they're not overwhelming. No, the actual scent profile. Because I, I have to be honest with you, uh, Michael, because of your flamboyant nature and the way that you dress and the kind of image that you present, I thought perhaps a producer Michael fragrance might not be my cup of tea. It might be a little bit in your face, but they are actually very refined and complex fragrances that they almost have a kind of stealth wealth aura to them. They're, they're very classy and refined, so they don't sort of scream in your face like, a, you know, a, a very um, brightly colored shirt or whatever. They're, they're not the equivalent of that. They're very refined. Well, like this, right? well I didn't say that, Michael. I didn't say that. <laughs> okay, we get on to your dress. This is one of my tame shirts. Yeah. And, and also, you know, I, I don't I don't want to come across like an advert on your channel either. We don't even no, have to talk about yeah, fragrance yeah. anymore. Um, that, that wasn't the purpose of this. But since you asked me no. the question, that, that's, you know, that's the answer. It's it, very interesting. Okay, so it, so it, 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 to to come back to people who say, "Well, it's so expensive," that, that that's how you would sort of answer them. You, you you've really gone to great lengths to use the most expensive ingredients. You, you you've uh, and the the fact that they're so strong and, and um, that they you know one spray will 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 act like maybe four or five sprays of some of the other things out there maybe does justify that the the sort of bang for your buck is is a lot better than it might appear at first glance to some people. That's exactly right. That is exactly right. Well, fair enough. Okay. Yep. Okay. And as I say, guys, we're not do, we're not here to do an infomo infomercial. As anyone who watches my no, channel no. knows, I I will still say to people, yes, you might just have as much fun. You may have just as much luck on a date with a twenty pound fragrance, maybe. And if you're happy with that, that's great. Things are worth what people are willing to pay for them. And obviously, fragrance de bois has a fantastic reputation, and uh, it's it's a luxury item. And for a special occasion, you gift. I mean, imagine you gift that to somebody. It's not a huge amount to pay for us, a really nice thing to give to somebody. So I, I you know, I, I'm all for it. I like things that are cheap. I like cheap watches. I like it. I've even got a Rolex now, Michael, but we'll get to that in a minute. And I like, nice. uh, I like expensive things and now and again too. And this, this is something you can really treat yourself with. And I think, you know what, imagine if someone says, what's that you're wearing? Oh, it's PM. It's by Fragrance de Bois. And it's to do with producer Michael. It's a fun story. It's a conversation starter. So I think I'd, I'd be, I could get into the idea of wearing this and talking about it to people. We've got a great super chat. Fragrance, uh, the fragrance dude with a $4.99 super chat. Producer Michael, have you worked with John Paul Jones, Jimmy Page or Robert Plant? Led Zeppelin is my favorite band of all time. Any stories? 
I wish I could say I have, but I have not. Uh, I, I have had the honor of meeting both Jimmy and Robert, um, but I've never worked with them. Uh, our paths crossed numerous times at events, but uh, unfortunately, I can't say I've ever worked with them. And, you know, Stairway to Heaven is one of my favorite songs. What an incredible song that is, and what a great band. Thank you so much, Fragrance Dude. Huge fan of them myself. Uh, yep, discovered them through my dad's LP of Led Zeppelin 1. So, yep, th those were the days. Uh, thank you for the $4.99 super chat. We really appreciate that. All right, so um, what's coming next? Will there be a third producer, Michael Fragrance? You know, I don't, I don't think so. Um, when, when I put AM out... Uh, the success of, of PM was was surprising to me. I, I didn't, you know, anticipate the success that, that it had. It became one of Harrods' best uh, best selling fragrances, and uh, they actually have an exclusive now, retail wise, on the AM. Uh, right. That's something that, that that they wanted. It is available online, of course, but um, mm -hmm. AM was just another version of me, basically. Uh, I, di I didn't even know that we were going to put it out. We, we were experimenting for the longest period of time and um, it, it just didn't happen. And then bang, it did. So that's where AM came from. And you probably wonder why it's called AM. Uh, yes. And I, I, I have no idea. I, I called it AM. Um, I figured PM, well, you can wear that in the evening and let's have something for the morning. So AM. And it was also a way of being able to create my logo with a different letter, you know, to keep it similar. So that's where the name came from. Um, does it mean anything? Not really. Sorry. Fair enough. That, that, that's a, yeah, the, the, I do like the logo. The presentation is, is really nice. Great job. Okay. Um, if you don't mind, I'd like, cause I'm very, I've got to be honest. I I'm apart from fragrant stuff. I'm very interested in you, uh, in, in many other areas. So let's talk about some of the other stuff that you're passionate about and that's featured on the channel. So, um, what are some of the other things you're really interested in? Maybe in collecting or your other passions in life. Uh, I'm suspecting, we must do some watch talk and I know you like cars, but I'll let you answer the question in your own way, uh, Michael. So watches is my, my big, big thing. And, you know, you, you asked me earlier, what was my first watch? Yeah. It was a, it was a Rolex GMT. I didn't buy it for myself. Uh, my, my dad bought it for me. Um, the reason I really got into watches was again, going back, going back to my father, he, he said, anytime you uh, achieve a milestone in life, buy yourself something, right? Um, doesn't matter what it is, doesn't matter what it costs, but buy yourself something and make a collection of whatever that is. And you can look back at your your milestones in life. So yeah. I, I had this this watch that he, he had bought me. I'd always wanted one. Uh, I passed some exams at school and uh, that, that was my that was my gift. And uh, I, I fell in love with this watch. It was my pride and joy, it meant more to me than anything. And I thought to myself, well, maybe my next milestone, if I ever achieve one, uh, I'll get myself another watch. And it just went from there. So, you know, when I was in the music industry, uh, you know, producing and promoting music, any time that a record went gold, I would buy myself a gold watch. And any time it went platinum, I'd buy myself a platinum watch. So oh, not that's, bad. Okay. Yeah, so that's, that's how it kind of started. And, uh, you know, 160 million records later, uh, got a few watches. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we we're talking about you as, as somebody we know through your YouTube channel. If we research your career, it is a phenomenal career. You, you I just wanted to actually ask you um, before we move on to a bit more about the watches, because I am fascinated in that. Can you, um, you you've worked with some phenomenal, uh, huge artists and, and obviously had a huge part in their success was there one person that's maybe the the person you felt most privileged or proud to have worked with in your uh, career definitely there was um if i say that person's name i would say 90 percent of people won't know who it is um but it's it was a a guy he's a dear friend of mine actually called engelbert humperdinck i know him yeah come on yeah yeah but most people probably won't right okay yeah so Engelbert, um, he's the only person that I have worked with, that I have produced, that can sing their way through a song, start to finish, without a break, without a bad note, uh, and be an absolute gentleman 
as he does it. Uh, just a pleasure to work with, uh, voice of voices. Um, I really enjoyed working with Engelbert and I worked with him for quite a long time. Amazing, a great and an absolute titan of 20th century music. And I'm sure we, we do have quite a mature audience. I'm sure many of them will, will be aware of Engelbert Humperdinck's work. Dwayne with a $2 super chat. Producer Michael, did Norton and Wilson, that's my fragrance brand, ever approach you about a collab? Well, I can answer it, but I don't know. No, go ahead. You answer it. I, we did. We did send you the fragrances, but I know that you have tie-ups with other people and it didn't quite work out that we collabed. But he has. we, we have sent producer Michael the fragrances. He was very complimentary about them and, um, you know, never say never, but I think he has. He, he's uh, tied up with other people at the moment. But I, I was very privileged to be able to send uh, producer Michael the, the fragrances. That's actually how I first spoke to him because I did a rather cheeky video about his um, reacting to his fragrance collection and, and he was actually kind enough to say he, he, he quite liked it. So that's how we first got to speak. So I, great I, question. I like honesty, you know. Yeah. I, I like honesty and I think you were, you were brutally honest and uh, I don't believe anybody's ever perfect, especially me. And, you know, I don't, like I said before, I don't know the first thing about fragrances. I really, I really don't. <laughs> well, I just know what smells neither. good. What, what doesn't to me, you know, I, I, I like certain things and I don't like certain things, but uh, no, and you, your, your fragrance was great. It was, it was great. Now, um, was it along the lines of what I normally wear? No, but uh, certainly a very, very nice fragrance. Thank you. That is a great uh, privilege for me to hear you say that. Thank you so much. It's the truth. And it's uh, the truth. I really appreciate that. And yes, certainly the, the video I did, um, reacting to your fragrance video did come as I think you recognize from a, a place of great affection. So I think that was, uh, that was a nice start for our, our relationship. we got a great uh, super chat coming in $5 super chat. Mr. Clean does producer Michael have his own line of men's shirts. If not, that should be the next collab with a designer. Great question. Mr. Clean. I uh, absolutely do. Mr. Clean. I'm wearing one. All the shirts I wear, all of them, are from my collection. They're made by uh, 8X, and um, they're, they're all wild and, and crazy. Fantastic quality. I'm, I'm all about quality. I think somewhere on here there's a there's a PM. I don't know where it is. It's on one of the, one of the arms somewhere. Oh. And then on the bottom of the shirt, my signature is on it, and they're, they're beautifully embroidered in the back inside the, the collar. But, yeah, oh. uh, 8X. If you go to 8-x.com, you'll see the producer Michael's shirt line and jackets and all things crazy. Okay. And you're all about the material. So I presume only only the finest polyester is used. The the <laughs> finest polyester and plastic. <laughs> all right. No, okay. seriously, these, these are amazing quality. I mean, the way that they're stitched, they're, they're, they're just amazing. The fabrics are all top of the line. Thank you, Mr. Clean. Generous super chat, really. No, I, I, I think, uh, yeah, check out that you can go to the Producer Michael website and I know you've got some uh, some great link ups with people. I just want to go back to the watches briefly, if you don't mind. By the way, Producer Michael, I'm very grateful to have you here. If you do need to get off at any point, just, you know, just let me know. I don't want to hold you hostage, but uh, we, let's keep going. Well, I'm, enjoy I'm enjoying myself. I'm enjoying oh, myself. I will, oh. I will have to go shortly, but, but uh, right. I I'm good. Great, wonderful. Okay, Kai first with a Malaysian six ringgit super chat. Good morning, Dan and the chat. This is a great, consistent supporter. This is how I have to make my money, producer Michael. <laughs> Sad, isn't it? I didn't, even know, I didn't even know this existed. Oh, it's a wonderful thing. Yeah. Malaysian ringgit super chat. Good morning, Dan and the chat. Thank you so much indeed. Watches. Look, I'm fascinated by your watch collection. Uh, I've seen you open up boxes of watches each one of them is worth more than my flat. So, I mean, how does it feel to buy these watches? Diamond encrusted Odemar Piguet watches, uh, Rolexes that are, you know, made of white gold. And, and yet that's not enough. There are diamonds on them. You have an extremely flamboyant taste in, in watches. Would that be fair to say? Yeah, I've actually tamed myself down from the diamond ones, although I do have diamond watches. Um, yeah, I, I'm... I'm Nowadays, I'm more into the, you know, whatever the factory puts out, the way the factory puts it out, rather right. than, you know, I, I don't I do not do the aftermarket ones anymore. Okay. But right. um, I love watches. I, I, I yeah. See, uh, what, yeah, what have you got on the t today? Let's have a look. Yeah, let's have a look. This okay. is a uh, Audemars Piguet uh, summer edition, a limited edition, rose gold, um, 44 millimeter, and uh, it's just a, a beautiful watch. 
that's a whopper. And is that a chronograph? It is a chronograph, yeah. And it's yeah. they only made I think two hundred and fifty of them, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it says on the back of it, but if I take it off, I won't be able to read it because I need my reading glasses. Okay. Which I'm it's, <laughs> it's a, fab, a fabulous watch collection, and I know we we do cross over a little bit with the wristwatch community. I've I've got a, I've actually just recently. This is you know to me this is a big deal. I've got a Rolex GMT from 1999. And it's got it's it's got a faded bezel. I love those old faded bezels that have been out in the sun, and I like my like my vintage things. So um, that was thank you so much. And 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 for me, you know what, watch watching your channel and sort of um, other watch channels where they talk about that stuff helped me to aspire. Okay, not all of us can have the the things that you have, but I've got one or two really expensive watches, and maybe just watching your channel has inspired me a little bit to think. You know what? Maybe I can have a little bit of something special. So that it, guys, if you if you watch the producer Michael channel, you find that it just rubs off on you, even if you don't end up living in a fabulous mansion in, in Los Angeles, just a little bit of that attitude might rub off. So I do recommend go and subscribe to the channel. Well, thank you. And and you know, always remember it doesn't matter what something costs, it's you know, buy what you love. And it. It, it becomes a hobby and a passion and just through human nature in itself, when you like something, let's say you get into watches and you start with, you know, lesser expensive ones, your eyes are going to gravitate to more expensive ones and it goes up. But then you set yourself goals and targets and you mm. can potentially sacrifice something that you would normally have, save up and then buy that very special item. Uh, and then you have that for the rest of your life, you know. So I, I'm a great believer in, you know, follow your passions. If you like it, continue it. Great advice, guys. We've got a Rachel K. Ung $1.99 super chat. I know Engelbert Humperdinck. Yes, I'm sure many of us do. Uh, a fantastic singer from the 20th. You want a piece of trivia? So Engelbert yes. Humperdinck holds, I believe still, the longest duration for a number one in the UK ever. I think it was oh, 59 wow. weeks uh, with the song Release Me. 59 weeks over a year? I believe so. Good grief. Don't, uh, fact, don't fact check me on this because I might be wrong. But that was the case a few years ago. That is um, but even longer than Brian Adams. Everything I do, I do it for you, uh, which drove me mad in 1991. OK, uh, Rare Find Frag says, Dan, it's so dope to see you having producer Michael is a guest. Yeah, we, 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 we are. We're punching above our weight here. Great to have such a spectacular guest. Um, OK, let's just move on to the last couple of points I wanted to cover with you there. Uh, this is a key one, actually. And a great point as we come towards the end of the time here. Um, so. Yeah, one of the things that's really uh, always impressed me and um, made an impression about uh, with me uh, to do with your channel is that it does give you this sort of positive outlook on life. And that really comes through. Uh, and so you've got the motto, you've got to be in it to win it, which is just a little motto that you're saying about some of your giveaways and stuff. But I feel it sort of applies to your whole philosophy on life. You clearly have a, this very positive outlook on life. And I did wonder, do, do you have a sort of guiding philosophy? Have you read a lot of books on positivity or philosophy? Or do you follow a specific school of thought? Or is it just your own producer, Michael, um, so formula? It's really, it's, it's really my own school of thought. And I, again, I attribute this to my upbringing. I think it's critically important to surround yourself with positive people. Uh, we, right. we live in a world where, unfortunately, there's a lot of negativity. Um, there's a lot of hatred. Uh, I, and I, I don't have a place in my life for hatred. You know, it's like um, if you're a good person, it doesn't matter where you come from, what color you are, what religion you are, uh, what your political beliefs are. None of it matters. You just just be a good person. And if people were inherently good, we'd have no problems, right? Uh, that's that's all that's needed. So I always say, you know, be in it to win it. Don't hang around negative people. If you have a plan, you want to become successful, and you've got, you know, one of your friends saying, oh, you'll never do that. That's not your friend. Get rid of them. Replace your friend. Be without a friend. You're better without a friend than having a negative friend. So I, I'm, I'm such a strong believer in that. Surround yourself with positivity, and that's how positivity works you know you become successful from that you don't let other people drag you down so yeah that's my thing in it to win it always be in it to win it i think everybody should be in it to win it um just give it your best self it's a great philosophy and a simple motto, but one that we can all sort of take something from. Uh, Fernando Soto with the Mexican 20, uh, 65 peso super chat. Thanks, Fernando. Great to see you, regular contributor. Great guest, Dan. Question, producer Michael. Can you talk 
about your experience working with Julio Iglesias, one of the greatest artists of all time in Spanish. Producer Michael, thank you for the super chat. How do you know is the question, Fernando. How do you know? Uh, yes, I did work with, with Julio. Uh, amazing talent and a gentleman, uh, absolute gentleman. I remember uh, a session we were recording in, in Miami at Miami Sound Basin. And uh, he came in one morning and he had a couple of people with him with trays of Starbucks coffees and, and he brought them to everybody. And we thought that was really, really nice. And then at the end of the, uh, the, the, the session, uh, the same guys came back and they brought in boxes of Rolex watches and they gave the Rolex watches to everyone that worked on his project. So uh, what a gentleman that guy is. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, gentleman. Wow. But, but what a talent. What a talent. Um, yeah, I mean, he's up there with Engelbert to, to me. I mean, uh, Julio is just uh, uh, amazing. And uh, um, I, don't, I don't know if I mentioned, I actually speak Spanish. So, you know, we would we would talk in, in Spanish. And uh, my Spanish is pretty good. I grew up in Spain. So it's probably better than my English. No, maybe not, but it's close. I believe you speak Spanish and German. Is that right? How do you know that? I, will, I, I did some research, believe it or not. Yeah, I, do. I, I tried to do my, my due diligence. Here. Yeah, yeah, I went to college in Germany. Um, Wonderful. Yeah, yes. Okay, quick, quick, quick uh, question. Paul S. with a $1.99 Super Chat. Does Michael still have his private jet? I do, I do. Um, and th what I did with it, just so that people don't think that I'm like gallivanting the world on a private jet. So, you know, I bought the, the jet because it has some, some very good... Uh, advantages to to own one and what i did was i leased it back to the company uh from where i bought it from so they actually used the jet and, and i receive lease fees for it so if i want to use it i have to charge my own jet ah uh, okay uh great stuff uh i'm gonna just give you a little bit of a uh, if you don't mind i got a, a couple of quick quick fire questions that i normally give to uh people on the stream uh we've got a one super chat that i missed sorry mr clean let's find that one mr clean i'm so sorry mr clean thank you generous five dollar super chat great irregular guest and a huge part of the stream here on mainly on saturdays mr clean five dollar super chat dan make producer michael your friday co-host surely he needs to feel part of a community and have something to do on friday nights yes i'll <laughs> Uh, I, I imagine he's quite busy, but it's a lovely idea. Thank you. It's a lovely idea, Mr. Clean. It really is a lovely Mr. idea. And perhaps, you know, if uh, if uh, Dan wants to have me on his show in the future sometime, I uh, certainly, certainly, if my schedule allows, I'll be glad to come. I'm going to hold you to that. Uh, I'm going to bring in our co-host uh, who often joins me a little bit later on a Friday in two seconds, because I'd just like you to say a quick hello to her. Quickly, though, I'm going to rattle you through my quick, quick fire, either or and other silly questions. Uh, are you ready, producer Michael? Here we go. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? Yeah. Good. I'm with you on that. You, which do you, I'm just going to put it this way. You can. Let me, let me question you, the other. You know what's really, really good on pizza? Smoked no. salmon. Is Sounds it? terrible. Sounds terrible. But Wolfgang Puck actually started the trend here at Spargo in LA. Smoked oh. salmon on pizza. Delightful. I wouldn't have thought that. That's very interesting. I wouldn't either. It sounds awful. I, 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 I just love you to be introduced to my great friend, Amanda, from the Limelight Lass channel. Hello. And uh, producer Michael, meet Amanda. Hello. Hello. I, am, I am honored to meet you. I'm flattered to meet you. Hello there. Welcome okay. to the wonderful world of live streaming. I think you're going to get addicted, uh, producer Michael, because <laughs> this is a, it's a very diverse, eclectic group we have here. And, you know, we're focused on the finer things in life now. Dan well, has taken this channel and sure. catapulted it in a okay. completely different um, direction. It's so great. I'm glad I did want you to guys to quickly say hello because uh, Amanda's been a great help on the stream recently. Kay Nakajima with a Mexican 25 peso <laughs> super chat. A small thank you for a good host with a great guest. Couldn't agree more. Thank you so much, Kay Nakajima. UK or USA, Michael, if you had to choose? For what? Which do you, which do you hold dearest in your heart? So I'm a dual citizen. Um, okay. I got to say, living in Southern California, the weather is just too good to give up. So, <laughs> USA. I can understand that. Okay. Um, Rolex or Richard Mill watches? Which would you? Hundred percent Rolex. 
can't beat a Rolex. I be, uh, am I correct in saying you've got a watch out with uh, Jacob and Co? I do. There's a producer, Michael Watch, uh, wow. 200, uh, 200 gold ones, 200 carbon, and I think 150 titanium. Check it out. It's on the Producer Michael website. There are some amazing things on there. Luxury goods for you guys. Um, this is one I was rather intrigued by. What football team do you support? Um, like Real Madrid. Ah, oh, okay. All right. You don't Fair like enough. me anymore. You want me to say like Arsenal or Tottenham, right? I support Tottenham, but Real Madrid, you know, a great Spurs. team. Yeah, they're good old. It's a very frustrating job supporting them. So I think you've you've made the right choice. Uh, in terms of fragrances, Beast Mode or Polite Siage, which do you prefer? I don't even know what that means. Do you prefer a very strong, i.e., Beast Mode fragrance, or a Polite Siage, which is you know a subtle fragrance? What do you prefer? So. That was my challenge with, with yes. PM and AM. I wanted it to have beast mode projection without being obnoxious. Yes. So that's what I hope that I created, uh, but I don't have a word to describe it. So I'm going to throw the ball back in your court. How would you describe that? Um. I think they are very strong performing, but beast mode is probably a little bit too crude a term to apply. So I, I think you've straddled it very well between it's it, you can apply judiciously and uh, choose choose how strong it's going to be. So I, I I think you've got that you've straddled it just right. I think they are very refined. They, they do have beast. I do I do think they have beast mode in the in the best possible way. Potential. If you do want to fill the room, then I'm going beast mode. You can. You, we like beast mode here. As uh, we are, we are over sprayers. Like yeah, Hello. limelight less likes to overspray. Last one of my silly questions. <laughs> what is your? I'm intrigued to know what is your favorite food, producer Michael. Oh boy. Um, Wow, that's a tough one. I love Italian food. Um, mm. a really good pasta. I, I love that. I love Asian food. Um, here's a secret. I don't like garlic. So that kind of makes it tough with Italian food sometimes, but I don't like garlic. I find that garlic makes everything taste the same because you end up tasting garlic, right? That's As true. opposed yeah. to what it is. And I'm not a huge cheese lover. So oh, mm. that kind of, a, you know, reduces the palate a little bit there. But uh, at the end of the day, I think Italian, I'm not a hamburger fan. Um, I like, I only eat organic food. Um, I don't, I don't like eating or, or the thought of eating chemicals or GMO, you know, modified food or any, any of these things. Um, I believe you are what you eat. So I'm very careful. But I think, you know, light, healthy foods. Um, I don't want to say anything as boring as a salad, but I do like salad sometimes. Not the, look, not the answer you were looking for, right? You probably well, wanted to well, I, I, I know you do, look, popcorn, right? you do look after yourself very well. I've seen that. I, I know you have a very healthy lifestyle. Lee Loggins with an Australian $20 super chat. Thank you again, Lee, again, the man who really helped me discover the producer Michael fragrances. So thank you, Lee, for the super chat. Producer Michael, if you don't mind, uh, quickly, top three luxury watches. Best Rolex, Audemars Piguet, and best Patek Philippe you own. Big question. Oh, thank wow. you, Lee. Okay, so Rolex... Um... My favorite Rolex I own, I have a uh, very fortunate, lucky enough to have a platinum Daytona with the baguette hour markers, uh, has a, a light blue dial, beautiful, beautiful watch, very heavy, uh, certainly reminds you that you're wearing it when you have it on your wrist. Uh, that would be my favorite Rolex, but I have a very close second, which is the rainbow Daytona. Uh, oh, again, yeah. that kind of matches my shirt. Um, I, I love that one too. So th those two, I know you only asked for one, but those two would be my favorite Rolexes, very close together. Uh, AP, AP. So what's the best AP? Uh, I like, I like this one. Um, I like all the offshores really. I think the offshores are great. And I also like the, the Royal Oaks, which is a slightly smaller version of the, uh, of, of the offshore. I don't like the codes and I don't like the millineries from AP. So uh, that, that would probably be my, my opinion on AP. And Patek, 
uh, has to be Nautilus. Um, the best one I have is a 5724 on a bracelet that um, has a, like a diamond baguette bezel and some little diamond elements in it. Uh, beautiful, beautiful watch. Uh, again, very fortunate to have that. There's not many of them. Um, but, you know, you can't go wrong with any Patek, I, I don't think. I mean, they're, they're all... What's their motto? Uh, you're wearing it for your, for, for your grandkids or something like that. That's right. It's all about the fact that you you can you can part. Yeah, the, the the historic ad was about the fact that you would pass it on to the next generation. Yeah, but, right. uh, and, and and that is the great thing. Uh, although these these some of these watches do seem absurd amounts of money, that the, they do sort of hold the value if you get the right ones. So the rainbow so can Daytona. Just, can I yeah, say yeah, something about that as well? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. When I buy a watch, yeah, you know, people often say to me, "How come you spend so much money on watches?" Well, I'm in the very fortunate position where I'm able to do that. So I, I look at it this way. I have alternatives. I can put it in the stock market and gamble, right? Mm. Um, it can go up, it can go down. If it goes up, it goes up, then I pay tax on it. Um, mm -hmm. it I can buy cryptocurrency and go <laughs> goodbye, uh, and, and, and the money's gone, right? Because nobody yeah. knows what's going to happen with it. True. Um, or I could buy something that I'm really going to enjoy. So the way that I look at it, I'm not spending money if I buy a watch. I'm parking the money in a watch. If you buy the right ones, they're never going to go down in value and potentially could go up quite a long way. Uh, so it could turn out to be a great investment. But worst case scenario, you'll get your money back. So you got to go with the watch because you get the enjoyment. You don't get enjoyment looking at you know your portfolio in the stock market and worrying about how it's going to collapse. So mm -hmm. to me, I watch. I agree. Make, yeah. That does make a, a lot of sense. Uh, quick super chat, Dwayne, with a $2 super chat. This is something <laughs> of an in-joke here. Has producer Michael ever worked with the artist Boz? That's no. a, a former guest on our stream. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you'd be interested too in the future, though, wouldn't you, producer Michael? Yeah, Definitely, <laughs> but, but right now I haven't. And uh, I'm, I'm actually I'm, I'm kind of toning down my, uh, my, my production stuff and uh, trying so, to relax. Well, I, that, that, that just brings me to the question, and uh, sorry, I'll bring you in a bit more uh, limelight, Lass, but uh, how big of a part in your life is the is the producer Michael channel on YouTube your main thing now, or do you still have a, is this just a little side thing along with tons of other things that you're doing? What's the sort so of main have, focus in your, your life? I, I have an entertainment company, and I'm blessed to have a fantastic staff. I, I really have a fantastic staff. It runs like a Swiss watch. Um, they know what to do. They know how to do it. Uh, I don't have to do very much at all. I, you know, I, I, I check on things once a month or once every couple of weeks, but it runs very smoothly. So I'm not really involved in that anymore. I, I don't really do music anymore. I don't do TV anymore. So I just, you know, have fun with my social media. Um, you know, I, I've got, I think, like four and a half million people follow me and subscribe across the various different platforms. Uh, you know, on Instagram, I, I try and respond to every single comment when, when I post. Uh, I did uh, notice that, which is very unusual. Awesome. It tells you I'm bored, right? I don't have anything to do in my life. <laughs> That's why you need to come on these live streams more. <laughs> right, right. But no, I, I, I do try to do that. And, and I attribute the success of my Instagram to, you know, uh, personally responding to, you know, all of the, all of the, the comments. Um, I used to post once or twice a day. I now post once a week because it, it's a lot. I mean, it, re it really is a lot. Um, I read the comments on YouTube, but I don't respond to them because it's just too many. Yeah. And, you know, I, I feel if I respond to one or two, I have to respond to them all. And I don't want to do that, but I do read them. Um, then, you know, I TikTok, Facebook, uh, Snapchat, Rumble, all, all of these things. And, uh, Yes, a lot of people. So I, I, I try to be very careful and, and uh, you know, I, I like to post quality content that people I think will enjoy and, uh, yeah, have fun with it. That's what I do. Well, it certainly look, I think that's the, the, the success of the channel must be partly, we all feel that when we watch the YouTube videos, that it, it does seem like tremendous fun that you're having there with your collaborator, um, Adam. So when you started doing it, I mean, did, did you, uh, did you, uh, you've obviously been very successful in, in many of the things you've done before, but did you have any idea how exponentially this would grow? Was it a shock to you uh, or, or, or did you expect this? Oh. 
a lot more luck than judgment. Uh, I, I gotta tell you, I, I, I really didn't think anybody would be interested and, in, uh, you know, showing, showing expensive things, like I said earlier, I, I thought would upset people, but, uh, it turned out the opposite. They, they like to see it. And, and again, I, I try to do it in such a way, which is really genuine because I believe anyone can have it. And, and if you portray it in such a way, um, you know, I, I think it's hopefully it's inspiring. One hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. Now, myself and Amanda both have uh, YouTube channels, not quite on the level of yours. And any uh, little That's tips really for us? <laughs> Anything well, for people I'm who've not to, had quite uh, the success you've had? Any little hot tips so we could uh, perhaps try to, to to take ourselves to the next level? So, what I'm going to do, um, you're going to have to send it to to me um, a link to this video and i'll put okay. it in a story on my instagram and oh. send people to your channel so hopefully that oh, will that'd be amazing help you. um but you know i think it's all about content uh, i put out one video a week i try to make it fun i try to you know show things that i believe people will want to see different um change it up all the time i mean i do a lot of watch content but i try to make it different each time and uh you know the big thing is have fun with it just have fun with it uh, you know, I, I, I make blunders all the time and Adam never cuts them out. So uh, originally when we first started doing that, I said, chop that out. And I said, I'll leave it in or whatever, you know. So uh, it, it's become a blunder channel now. The candidness is quite a, part, a big part of the fun. And I, I think it's interesting that you just, because a lot of people pump out a video every day these days, but you've had tremendous success with just one a week. And, uh, you know, that makes it something that I'm sort of looking for. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's around about Tuesday that the video normally comes. And I'm sort of, yes. it's sort of in yeah. my mind. Oh, hopefully there's a new producer, Michael one. So it doesn't have to be, sometimes less is more in terms of the output, right? So, so you know, in answer to your question, uh, I, I, I've, been a manager to a lot of artists for, for many, many years. And there's one thing that I tell everybody, and that's leave your audience wanting more rather than give them more than they want, right? Mm -hmm. um, if, if you go to a concert to see your favorite artist and they perform for 24 hours, you're walking out before the end. You're done, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but if they finish in 45 minutes when you wish they'd gone on for an hour, you'll go back to see them next time they're in town. So leave them wanting more. Yeah, that, sometimes, yeah, working uh, smarter, not harder okay. it can be the, the way to do it. Actually, uh, yeah, that's a, a very good point. Quick super chats then. Rupert, $9.99, uh, £9 mm -hmm. super chat. Thank you so much for the super chat. Is Philip Schofield innocent? How much would it cost him to get him on the show? Will Norton Wilson be releasing a Schofield phrase against to get his career back on track? I, d I don't know anything about that story. I haven't been following it, but I do appreciate the generous super chat. Thank you so much. I, I hope that all resolves itself Amic happ happily for everybody involved. Lee Loggins mm -hmm. with an Australian $10 super chat. Thank you so much, producer Michael. Did you sh see the shift to Cartier coming? Come second to Rolex in sales this year, did they? Okay. Uh, so I didn't, I, didn't I didn't know that. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Cartier watches. I, I do have a couple. Um, I didn't know that. I would not have guessed that in a million years. That's interesting to, to know. Thank you for the generous super chat to the previous person and to Lee Loggins with the $10 super chat there. That is really generous. We've got one more quick super chat. Uh, Kai first with a Malaysian 15 ringgit super chat. Super chat is amazing today live, on today's live stream. Don't forget to drop the free likes, but to super chat is great. In, uh, he's a man after my own heart. Thank you, Kai first. Great supporter um, in the channel there. Jimbo there, the great comments. Um, <laughs> Pierre, producer Michael, do you see in, any talent in Mr. Smelly? Because I don't. Thank you know, you. I, 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 was, I was thinking about maybe signing him, but uh, after this, <laughs> nah, there's no talent there. <laughs> I was pleasantly surprised you actually turned up to be quite frank. But, uh, no, I'm kidding. Uh, no, this, this has been a lot of fun. It really has. It's been a lot of fun. Um, as I said, I've never done this before. It's a first for me. I, I don't think I'll be doing very many of them uh, in, in the future because, you know, it's, it's you don't know what you don't know what you're getting. You don't know what it's about. And uh, yes. I, I didn't know what a super chat was until this today. So <laughs> it's really interesting. Uh, well, you've been a tremendously good sport because it's quite brave of you mm -hmm. to come on here. And, uh, you know, the, 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 you, you know that you, you don't exactly need to. Uh, 
uh, views or <laughs> help from the Mr. Smelly channel. So I really do appreciate that. It's, it's really very kind of you. So uh, what, what does the rest of your sort of weekend look like there over uh, in, in LA? Are you, are you filming some new content for the channel? How far ahead do you film the the videos there with Adam? We're normally three or four videos ahead, sometimes a little more than that. I try, try to get three or four videos ahead. Um, and uh, this weekend, uh, right now, what time is it now? Four, wow, 4.30. Um, so, yeah, I haven't had my lunch, so I think I'm going to grab a little nibble and all being well, go out for some nice dinner this evening. And uh, I'll chill over the weekend. Maybe go for a cruise down PCH, Pacific Coast Highway. How lovely. Okay, <laughs> that, that sounds absolutely idyllic. Uh, now, I don't want to hold you against your will, but, but maybe, Limelight Lass, do you have any questions I'm sure you've got a couple of things you might want to ask uh, producer Michael. We get the opportunity. Well, you know what the what the guests always or the the people in the chat always expect me to bring up my land of origin, Philadelphia. So have you? I have to ask: Have you ever been to our fine city of Philly? And of if course. so, what did you think? Of course, um, it's been probably I've been a few times. Probably ten years since I was last there. Um, it was nice. I was there in the summer. The weather was good. It, it, it was. I, I was expecting um, like a Detroit, but it wasn't. So I was. I mean, some parts are. Yeah, but but where I was, I was pleasantly surprised. It was very very nice, um, and yeah, I had a good time. I have uh, I have some friends there, and uh, it, it was nice. Great. Yeah, historic Philadelphia. I mean, it's it's the birthplace of our country. Of course. So. And we have wonderful nightlife and music. Well, I worked in the music and Dan, I don't even know if you know this. I worked in the music industry right out of college. Um, that was my my first job. I worked in the um, kind of research side of it. We uh, I worked for a research company that tested song libraries for radio stations. But I saw the kind of adversarial relationship between radio stations and record labels that I did not know existed before. And it kind of turned me off to the whole thing. It was very, I didn't know all the threatening that goes on behind closed doors from record labels calling radio stations and saying, if you don't play this, you know, when I was little, I'd always say, why do they play the same song on the radio 20 times a day? Well, it's because the record label. So, basically so each, them. And have you each, seen that shadiness kind of in the record, or, you know, in the music industry? Yeah. So each radio station has its own promoter and that promoter, controls, I don't know, eight, 10 radio stations. Uh, they bribe the record labels, basically. Yes. Uh, it's a horrible, <laughs> horrible, horrible business. It really is. And uh, I'm very fortunate that I wasn't part of that. Um, yeah. I, I, I didn't enjoy that part. It's a very cutthroat. But uh, it's a fun industry, that's for sure. Some very colorful people. I mean, look at me, colorful, right? Colorful. I love that. Your style, because so my channel is Limelight Lass, and I call myself Limelight Lass, and it's my Instagram, because I love being in the limelight. I think it's great to be extra, but I was accused recently. Here's my last question for you. I was accused recently from by somebody of being too, like, too extra, too bougie, because I dress up too much. You know, I don't understand why people, like, I wear nice so, clothes all the time because it makes me happy. Do you ever get some hate, like, oh, don't you ever wear, like, sweatpants or whatever? I, I, mean, I get hate all the time. Uh, people say I wear clown shirts. Uh, ridiculous. I mean, you name it, I get it. Unfortunately, the, uh, the world of social media, there are haters. Uh, you yeah. will never, ever find a successful person hating on you. So, you yeah. know... Just remember this, and this is what I tell myself. If anybody says anything bad about me, just remember who it's coming from. It's meaningless, mm -hmm. you know, those people. I feel sorry for those people. If they would mm -hmm. take that energy where they use it in hatred to positivity for themselves, they could turn their lives around and then they wouldn't have to hate on other people, would they? Just my thoughts. That's beautiful. It's true. Yeah, this is a great guest. Just, just remember that. It's very important. You will <laughs> never be hated on by a successful person. Successful people, that's an oxymoron. They don't hate on other people. They just don't. That is a very good point. And we, we do have our we do have our fair share of dramas and, and <laughs> hatred, even in our funny little fragrance community. Uh, believe it or not, producer Michael. So that is very, uh, very apt words indeed. Always consider the source. Exactly. That's great advice. 
Just laugh at you. Right. It's flattery. You know, when somebody says something bad about you, they're jealous. There's no other reason for mm -hmm. them to say that. So it's flattery. And, you know, uh, unfortunately, that's the way the world is. But you need a bit of everything, don't you, to make it work? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It, 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 I think I've always said to people, you know, if, if you're not getting any haters or, or trolls, then you, you, you've obviously doing something wrong because anyone you who's failed in life, anything, right? you, you must be doing something right if yeah. people are getting really annoyed about the, what you're doing. So I always say that to people. And you're absolutely great words there. Uh, one uh, actually one quick. I just I, I was very pleased to see the return of the uh, the man with the brightest teeth I've ever seen on YouTube. <laughs> Peter DeMar is it Peter DeMarco? P P Peter Marco. Peter so, Marco, sorry. P what a, he's Peter got this jewellery store with necklaces worth about $10 million. Uh, I mean, yes, and more. A fascinating yes. character, isn't he? Dear, dear, dear friend of mine, we have travelled the world together many times. Um, he does have a, an obnoxious smile. It's unbelievable, <laughs> yes. I, 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 but I couldn't believe the, the price of some of those necklaces. And I think you've, you've just recently acquired a new car in your latest video, although it's, it's, it's a second-hand a second-hand yes. car, which is unusual yes. for you. Uh, yes. Was that a, was it a Mercedes? Yeah, it's a Mercedes AMG GTC. And the uh, reason it's second-hand is they stopped making them in 2022. Uh, discontinued the car, and I wanted one, so uh, that was my only choice. But I got a very fresh one, and I love it. It's so much fun to drive. It looked amazing. It looked very fat. Look, listen, we've got something uh, in common there. You know, both got something to celebrate car wise this this week, uh, producer Michael. So I've actually got some new windscreen wipers for my key, my 2013 Kia Seed. So uh, we both had a big week. I'm looking forward to put, putting those on tomorrow. So a Kia and, uh, Seed sounds like something you would plant in the soil. What is a Kia Seed? <laughs> it's a, it's, I'm afraid it's the car I drive, producer Michael. I drive a Kia. I drive a Kia. A Kia oh, there's nothing wrong with Kia, Kias. I just don't know of the seed. And it just well, sounds like yeah, something not, would it, it would grow into, a, a, <laughs> I don't know, you water it and... It's not quite a high-performance sports car. Let's just put it that way. But uh, hey, I, again, I bet your fuel consumption is much nicer than mine. It probably is. It, it probably is. Family. Yes, it probably is. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, well uh, enjoy enjoy your new windscreen wipers. Um, thank you. And, and uh, enjoy your your Kia Seed. And, and uh, it's been an absolute and utter pleasure. It really has. I've enjoyed this a lot. And uh, hopefully uh, you, you've enjoyed it too and your audience enjoyed it. So uh, I wish everybody a great weekend and we'll Thank catch you. up again. Uh, Producer Michael, I want that. to say a huge thank you. It was an absolute honor and a pleasure. I know the audience really enjoyed it and we, 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 we won't forget this one for a long time. So thank you so much. We'd love to keep in touch and invite you again. Please, and thank, you. thank you and for your wonderful words of wisdom. Please send me the link to when this is, becomes a video because I'm, I'm not very good with that stuff. Uh, awesome. And I will put it in a story and uh, send people your way. That would really help us a lot. And guys, check out the producer, Michael Fragrances at Fragrance Dubois, AM and PM. They are absolutely stunning. Thank you, producer Michael. We will see you soon. Bye. Take care. Ciao. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. That was exciting. Well, go. I told you he really was going to come on the show. People didn't believe me. Yeah. How exciting. So uh, well, he was he, he was a great sport, wasn't he, there? He was a great sport. He was, and so humble. And I love yes. that philosophy because that he has the exact philosophy that I do is, like, I hate it when people are, I don't know, negative and just blame everybody else for not being successful and say, Oh, you know, when I have this against me, that against me, it's like, yeah. you know, there's a guy who got himself up by the bootstraps and, and really um, made a name for himself through hard work. And I just, I really appreciate people. Like I, I that. agree with you. Absolutely. Uh, and the thing that I've always, cause the, the, the thing that I've really always liked about his channel um, was that he does, he does genuinely come across as quite humble. Uh, he, he's not yeah, an arrogant he is. person. Yeah, and yeah. I know plenty of people with, you know, much less amazingly successful channels than him who are quite obnoxious and arrogant. Right. You know? Right. He, you know, yeah. Would, wouldn't bother answering comments or wouldn't, you know, wouldn't come on a live stream. Yeah. With us exactly. Hooligans, you know, and, and he did, which is really and, nice. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and just don't have that kind of nice, nice self-effacing sense of humor that he, 
he does have. So I, yeah, I wouldn't want to take my hat awesome. off. But as, as regular viewers will know, of course, I'm busting for the toilet. So you've now got to hold <laughs> this down for me. I'm going to drop the link if anyone else wants to come on and, and say what you thought about that. It'd be good to see some of our um, regulars. Uh, but I'm going to put you I, I'm going to put you in the awkward position, Amanda, of if you could just you tell know, I'll people. talk about my son of the day. How about yeah, that? Yeah, whatever you want. You got this. I'll be right back. I'll do that. Okay. Hi, everyone. Ooh, I kind of like being in charge. It's kind of fun. Okay. So just a little heads up what we're going to be talking about later. We're going to be talking about some tropical fragrances, like on an island. I guess that goes along with the like lush uh, lifestyle theme that we have going on tonight with producer Michael. So why don't you guys think about the best tropical? So different than just regular summer fragrances, but like you're in a lush tropical paradise it could be kind of floral and i don't know just tropical or or like you're holding a tropical drink so you know drop those drop those suggestions in the chat but the one i'm wearing today one of my probably top three tr favorite tropical fragrances would be narciso ombre who has this one anybody i'm wearing it right now it is so good so i love narciso rodriguez fragrances by the way pretty much all of them, pretty much all of them. So if you're not familiar with this one and why it is just a tropical dream come true for me anyway, top notes are frangipani, lang lang and white flowers. Mid notes are musk and amber. And then the base notes are cashmere and vanilla and cedar. This just transports me. I was thinking tropical for the theme when Dan asked like what our, what our theme should be for fragrances uh, because it is quite steamy in Philly right now. Like it's in the nineties and yeah, I'm thinking I'm not obviously in a trop on a tropical Island. I'm, I'm here in the Philly suburbs just at my house. But when I smell this, it transports me, it transports me. Uh, oh, let's see. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm looking at the, at the comments here. We create show this behind you. Oh, I'm the, the next ex-wife. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I haven't gotten a comment like that before. I'm his next ex-wife. Uh, Mr. Got Plenty, like $4. Dollar. Thank I you, Mr. I like got... that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a compliment. I'm not sure. Mr. Got Plenty with the $4.99. Yeah, I know. Is that a compliment? A kind of a I'm backhanded not, I, I compliment. Yeah. By the way, by the way, I am single right now. Guys. <laughs> form an orderly queue, form an orderly line. Uh, Mr. Got Plenty with a $4.99 super chat. Great interview. Shout out to the high commander. Thank you. Appreciate the super chat. And to Limelight Lass. Did you or know, did you know that that's my nickname? Uh, like that my, that my friends oh. have called me since like forever is Commander Amanda. Because oh. I'm a little bit. Yeah. Or Amanda Demanda. Because I'm a little, oh. you know. I'll have to watch demanding. out for that. I haven't noticed that I like, tendency. Jan, I like to get what I want. I'm spoiled. Uh oh. <laughs> this is not going to work out. Okay. Um, so, he, as he likes to call her, my ex wife, you can have half. I got plenty. Thank you for the generous. And he sounds super. like a plan to me. <laughs> he sounds like my kind of guy. $4.99 super chat. Thank you so much, Mr. Got Plenty. So I was quite, looking you... forward to this all day. And you know what? I have to say before I forget. Um, Oh, geez. Some nice, very nice, very nice uh, comments there. Oh, okay. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Some, some interesting comments there. <laughs> but anyway, I loved our stream. I know I was only on for an hour yesterday um, and it was so great being on with Rachel too, but I yes. thought yesterday's low key, it was kind of like a low key stream, but yes. I thought it was so good. And if you guys didn't get to see the stream yesterday with like the classic fragrances like classic inexpensive fragrances go back and watch it because you can literally have your have your tabs open and do some shopping because for i'd say like a yeah, hundred yeah. bucks you could probably buy like five or six of those fragrances that we mentioned yeah. and have a whole new fragrance wardrobe because we mentioned some really good cheapies so that was yesterday check it out there was there were some really good recommendations that was with myself uh with you and rachel k ung who's been yeah, very generous I, in the comments it. i tonight. feel like we killed it yesterday well these brief. streams mean a lot to me because it gives my channel a little bit more credibility when we actually do a fragrance live stream mm -hmm. and just talk fragrances so it does it does give me that so i really appreciated mm -hmm. that and that's fantastic mm -hmm. by the way what are you drinking there amanda so look i bought the i brought the bottle with me 
Um, I'm just, right. I, this was not from today. I had some left. So this is the Apothic Rosé. I like the Apothic brand um, of wines. It's it's nice, but it's okay. so hot. In I wanted something refreshing because it's in the 90s today. Oh, and wow. oh wow, is it okay? Yep. It's in the 90s and today, you know, I'm a high school teacher. So we did like our little like field day sort of reward thing, you know, for the for the students. And we had water ice for them, or as we say in Philly, water ice. And my job was to uh, scoop, scoop the water ice for the children, which was nice. But I was out in the sun, so I got a little bit burned. And from scooping with like the ice cream scoop for so long, this is the most Philly injury ever. I have band-aids on my fingers because oh, no. my skin, I scooped so much water ice that my skin started like peeling off. <laughs> it was Wait, really what, what is this water? I don't understand what is water ice that you're uh, scooping. It's my know. favorite, it's my favorite summertime treat in the Philly area. And I didn't until I worked in the music industry and started talking to people from far like West Coast and stuff. I'd talk about water ice and they're like, what? I had no idea that like the rest of the world didn't know what it was. So it's I've like it. so it's 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 a frozen, it's icy. It's like yes. icy, but it's not. There are some like they call it Italian ice sometimes. They'll call it mm -hmm. Italian ice. But sometimes there's water ice that's like creamy. I don't like that kind or almost more of a sorbet. Uh, yeah, yeah. Water ice is supposed to be like clear of like what, whatever what do you it is. Do? Like what do you do? Is this something you drink or eat or what? No, you you eat it. You eat it. It's like scoopable. What's, what is it? Has it got alcohol in it? What is it? Well, I mean, you could put alcohol in it if you wanted oh, okay. to. Oh, it's just—it's like a something to cool you down on a hot day. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just—it's so not I'm like just a really snow cone. So some people think that a snow cone. So you know how like a snow cone is like very icy, but it's like. Gr Do you have snow cones in England? <laughs> no. You know what a snow cone is? Wow, this it's is probably like got a different cultural, name or something. It's probably a got cultural a barrier. <laughs> No people in the people in the chat would you tell ex please explain snow cones today no it's like ice it's just a bunch of ice right that's a snow cone a bunch of ice and they put it in a in like a globe okay. shape yeah. and then they pour these syrups on them and then uh, it okay. turns gorgeous. they okay. have them on like you know boardwalks and stuff like that okay. so water ice though is like a smooth consistency okay it's not all granulated ice but it's like icy but flavored right it's so good and you it's cut your best. finger on it i'm sorry to hear that oh That's yeah so the scooping is it was very philly injury there i so. like it uh triplet with a one dollar 99 super chat thank you super chats have been pretty healthy tonight thank you I guys really really appreciate that uh, yeah i know one dollar <laughs> 99 super chat a tithing for smelly stream weekend entertainment yes pay the tithe peasants thank you no joking thank you i really appreciate the generous super chats that was so funny super producer michael didn't know what a super chat was yeah <laughs> that's like what that, is a super that chat? was crazy he's above um, such things yeah but now i'm like like i'm in awe that he has so many um subscribers and he's on so many different platforms that's amazing like he yeah. was rattling off like all of those platforms he, so uh, yeah, he, he he is really a fascinating. Uh, he is genuinely a fascinating character, and um, so for me, it was like a I wouldn't I don't know I don't have a bucket list, but you know, it was a great thrill to have him on the channel. Yeah, absolutely. Regardless of any, uh, you know, there wasn't any big business reason for either of us to do it. I don't, you know, he certainly doesn't need to come on my little channel, mm -hmm. and um, I was very yeah, happy. That was cool. his, his, he very kindly sent me his fragrances, but the most exciting thing was actually just that the experience to have him and what a you know very very engaging and um amazing guest v very very interesting guy and a good example to us all really because he's had so he's like god i've i've barely done one successful thing in my life and he's done about eight you know just like two different successful huge ventures a decade or whatever uh very very interesting bloke and uh, yeah, I, I defy yeah. anyone in the chat to sort of say he wasn't a good guy you know because we, we do get a lot of trolls and cynical people right. about the, the more successful youtubers and stuff but it, you know I, I defy anyone to say that that's that's not a good example to sort of how to approach life so really really yeah, he's, he's fantastic. very nice guy yeah fascinating he's as well um okay mm -hmm. i think limelight talk about ice sorbet says Mal uh, <laughs> the Kai Malaysian ringgit 
Probably has different yeah, words. Maybe yes, that's, it's kind of like an ice sorbet, but it's, I mean, it, it's its own little Philly thing, you know? We just, it's, it's mm. so good though. It's so good. And I, my favorite, favorite flavor of it is they have cotton candy flavored water ice. And that's my favorite. It's so uh, okay. Uh, all right. I like the sound of this. Kai First, mother, thank you for the generous. We really, and we really appreciate your support, Kai First, with the six bring it super chat. Uh, very, very uh, generous comment. DJ Pugwash, $4.99 super chat. Pardon. I feel like I have. I just want to win this. You. Okay, he's asking, have you tried Initio Paragon? I haven't. Thank I you for the generous I... super chat, though. Thank you for the super chat. I think. I, 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 I probably I have. I probably have because I've smelled. So it's funny, tomorrow I'm actually going to my, you know, my mall that has the Neiman Marcus and everything where I get to smell all the Initios and all of the, you know, premium things. Um, so I'll look for that. Um, it, But I'm, I probably have smelled it. I hang out at the fragrance counter at Neiman Marcus and just, yeah, just hang out there and smell everything. And I think they yeah. see me coming and they're like, oh my God, it's her again. But I'm sure they don't. I'm sure they're delighted to no, see you. No, they're, they're super cool. They like, they like hype me up. And I, I went for that Van Cleef and Arpels uh, event and they had the rep there and everything. And they got like pictures with me and gave me flowers. It was like, it was really cool. So yeah, they're, they're nice um, people. Well, I yeah, I, I I do. So it's been a while since I really had a proper go at a department store. I, I popped to Harrods about two weeks ago, actually, but um, I was kind of there socially, so we just we hopped into a few fragrance. I, I took a few photo ops upstairs, but I wasn't really sniffing. Anton Costantino, um, Dan, can you, please can you introduce Amanda to Vianetta? That is a delectable uh, English ice cream from the eighties that was. Uh, Yes. Ooh. Only English people would know what that is, but uh, it was something my nan would serve me. Uh, and she would even put, as if it wasn't oh, yeah. enough. Federal donuts. And you know what they have at Federal Donuts that I, is like better than the donuts is like their chicken. They have like fried chicken, which I haven't actually tried but I right, you're gonna like, have to I, I, i'm gonna have to read this and then you're gonna have to explain what on earth you're talking about we've got a four dollar okay. 99 super chat the fragrance dude thank you for your generous support four dollars 99 super chat federal donuts in philly are the best what is a federal donut please Amanda, well i mean they're, they're, do they're donuts um you know philly we we have some good donuts but from what i understand they also have this like phenomenal fried chicken like i heard it's the best fried chicken like in the entire world but i have not tried it yet so right i've not right. tried a butter pie i do not know what a butter pie that is sounds disgusting is that can you it's a family, <laughs> I mean, it's a family butter, channel but... here please limelight have you tried a butter pie it sounds filthy thank you for, for the four four five six um good to see you in the chat there lewis hello lewis i know lewis is obviously hello, lewis. Food, um so uh, great, yeah. great crowd tonight. We've had really good numbers and really great stream. Um, okay, we do have a couple of other themes coming up, but I'll, I'll keep it just you know, you know. Sometimes, like we, actually, when I was talking to uh, producer Michael, I had my little my plan of questions, but I was like, no, don't interrupt him to do the next question because some of the questions from the chat were better than my questions. So it just went very, uh, very organically well. Uh, Viennetta was a thing in the US too. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's the greatest ice cream ever. It's uh, it's a good good yeah. Uh, well, to discuss Viennetta, please. Yes, Viennetta was sold in the USA in the nineties. Yeah, I mean it sounds it sounds familiar. Now I do like gelato, like Italian gelato, uh, very good. Very, we had a big good. debate on this actually on the channel. Um, so we were debating: is gelato? different to ice cream or is it simply the yeah. italian word to uh, for ice cream well alex the yeah. perfume temple from trieste said basically that's simply the italian word for ice cream so now, italians do their ice cream a bit know. different but it, it's not a qualitatively different thing but no, does anyone want to well it's similar but gelato is to me it's a lot richer and i think it has more uh i feel like it has more like of a know a different consistency a little bit like richer i don't know i just know that some one of the restaurant italian restaurants around here um the owner went over to italy and like studied gelato for like weeks and how to make it and a, like a whole course on just gelato in italy to bring back to make the gelato there so there has to be some sort of art to it because i don't think he would do that if there was just if it was just ice cream 
Yeah. yeah. Discuss the difference um, between gelato and ice cream in the chat. Oh, okay. Wait, a butter pie. It's a real pie um, from Lancashire. It's a pie filled with chopped potato, butter, and onions. That sounds actually really good. I would All right. that. I'm much more into, I'm not really a sweets person. I'm more into like savory. So, yeah. Yeah, Frozen I don't custard, have a yeah. huge sweet tooth. Uh, I like the pickle. I love like pickles and um, like salt and vinegar chips. That's like my weakness. Pickles, and salt and vinegar chips. Pickles mm -hmm. I like. Yeah, pickles are good. I love olives, actually. Do you like olives? Me too. I'm obsessed with olives. I love olives. But they They're need sweet. to be pitted. Well, right, because... I don't I'm have time for the now. stone. I don't have time to be mess uh, making a fool of myself, not knowing how to do that part. Jimbo, it pains me to say this, Dan, but you did well tonight. Thank you. Perhaps I yeah, don't Yeah, you did amazing. Perhaps I don't. Totally suck so much. Okay, thank you so much, Jimbo. I, I do appreciate that. Uh, nice of you to say. Frozen custard. Thank you. I'm an artist of eating gelato. <laughs> Gerard, it's about time you hopped on, actually. I will uh, I'll drop the link. If anyone else wants to hop on, it'd be lovely to see some of our other friends here. Um, we do have a couple of... So following on from the, the producer Michael thing, which was great, we're, we're going to talk about luxury things that we like, I think, aren't we, Amanda? Right. Uh, but first right. of all, just, just to catch up with you, and, and I wanted to talk a bit about sort of his kind of winning at life not that that's what he yeah. it. Uh, you got to yeah. be in it to win it he's got a better slogan than me we're going to talk about that but how just just to, to touch base with you there amanda how has your week been overall you still busy at school yeah so my seniors took their i teach mostly seniors and i took their exams this week so things will be a lot calmer for me i have two weeks left i have 10 work days but actually nine because i have a personal day that i have to use up on um wednesday so if you want to do an impromptu live stream during the day, Wednesday, Dan, I will be available. <laughs> if anybody wants us to just I'd love to chat. That would be fun, right? Uh, um, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, it's I, I, I'm the, game. I'm game. Yeah. End of the year, you know, end of the year stress, getting all their grades done and, and whatnot um, is a little bit stressful. I bet. And yeah, yeah. still, um, well, I'm getting my son ready for his confirmation. That is going to be on Sunday. And all right. Yep. Yeah, and I have a I have a uh, a show um, coming up. So I emceed a really cool concert because that's the other thing that I do. I'm an MC stage manager um, yeah. at a music venue, and we had uh, John Ford Coley of England Dan and John Ford Coley um, last week, and um, the, you might know the yacht rock song. I'd really love to see you tonight. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to for you, but no. if you know that, he's he, that's him. And he was actually super, super nice. Um, so, yeah, so that was an exciting highlight of, of last week. And is Dan is Dan famous in Philadelphia now? Yes, he is, Yoshi Yoshi. He is. Uh, at oh. least among my students, they are still talking <laughs> I, about I met your first, year. what are they, the f first grade? No, what the... Uh, the, one my, of your classes. My, I don't know what you call. Yeah, them, they're, right? uh, they're a mix of tenth through twelfth graders. Uh, tenth through twelfth graders. Sorry, 12th, I, don't, I, don't, I have no idea. Most of them are adult, technically adults, you know. Yes, so they are. They seem they're up, into yeah. fragrance and everything, but they just they they love they love Dan, and of course they've they've conjured up this whole international romance be between us. And um, it seems like people in the chat have too, Dan. I'm sure they flatter me far too much, uh, but uh, <laughs> that's very kind of them. Very, very kind. Yeah, of them. It's, uh, it's fun. And then, uh, yeah, the other the other part of my week, um, just trying to navigate, you know, the whole uh, like the whole dating thing. It's very strange to me because I have not been in this position for a really long time, and yeah, there are well, dating is tricky. Um, there are people out there. <laughs> <laughs> well. Um, listen, I would be careful, don't reveal too much. But I think I think if we talk in general terms, yeah. that's an interest because both of you yeah, and me general know, term, totally we, general terms. We, we Not talk talking about any specific <laughs> psychopathic narcissist. <laughs> but yeah. Um Well, both you and me have dipped our toe into the waters of the dating scene in the yeah. last few months. And I, I'm right, certainly correct. careful that I don't want to, you know, what, what I don't want to give any specifics out. Um right. but uh I mean, geez, if I was if I was thinking as a young man of my parents in their mid forties dating, I would be sick, <laughs> but, but we actually do still sometimes some of us are single and do want to meet other people. And, um, it's an interesting world, but yeah, the dating apps, I think the great thing about the apps is it is 
you, you, you can make connections with people quickly and get a chat going and, and get shopping. a date. And you know, I love That's shopping. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. You know, because I'm like, okay, you know, blah, yeah, yeah. blah, blah. Um, it's addictive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can be. Oh, there's a severe thunderstorm warning coming up. Okay. Well, anyway, um, in my area, ooh, probably because it's so hot. Um, no, it's just, it's just weird because, you know, I really haven't been out, out there since the mid 2000, like 2006. And it was very a long brief. time. Right. Really like 2001, 2002 ish before all of this stuff was out there. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's different. It's, it's very different, but I feel like, you know what, I'm just getting into, I'm getting like a little bit worried because some things like some people, I don't know if you find this too, but, but some people do not like the whole YouTube, like being out there on social media. Like if you're a person who's kind of out there, I mean, not that I'm like a public figure because I'm definitely not, but you know what I mean? Like some people mm. don't understand this world and that can, I wasn't even thinking that that would be like a barrier for some people, but there, some people just aren't in to the whole thing. I, you know? I, I, I wouldn't have thought there's anything with either of us about what we do that is like uh, um, off-putting for somebody particularly. No, uh, I, I mean, I don't either, but I mean, but for some people no, 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 <laughs> it I, is, I, I guess, I, but. Uh, I think that's, I don't think that would be a normal reaction. I, 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 I Yeah. Um, yeah, being on YouTube, I, I, the only thing I found was at least it's a nice fun thing. You can say, you know, it, it, when people ask what you do, everyone, everyone wants to know what you do for a job or, or what your hobbies are and stuff. I, I right. just find that it's, it's a fun thing to put out there. It's a bit more interesting yeah. than the it's average person's hobbies or whatever. So I, 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 I found that I've, yeah, yeah, it, it, it should be, it, it should be a good thing. And if, if for anyone, it's not a good thing, then I would say, that's not someone you want to be dealing with. So <laughs> someone said send nudes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, there are those people out there. You know what? Other, the other thing that was really surprising to me, Dan, yeah. was that. Can I just turn I, my I, my heating off? I just uh, my my heating's come on. I, I I just give me two seconds. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh oh. Um. But anyway, so one of the things that to me, like I thought that it was like women who had Sorry. to be careful right on these yeah. apps or like that to you, Amanda. Forgive all me. All these guys, you know, like women were the ones getting sort of like hunchwobbled by these like slick men on dating apps. But it seems like I had no idea. And now look, I'm the first to tell you women are crazy. That's why I don't have too many like there you have to be like a really cool woman to like for me to like you, right? Because I feel like a lot of them are a little bit crazy. So uh there's this whole thing, Dan you can tell me if this is correct, where like there are a lot of guys who are very suspicious because there are so many women going on dating apps trying to sell their OnlyFans accounts or they're like not real oh. or I didn't even know that was a thing. Like they want you to buy their OnlyFans or their Snapchat like access. Uh, and, pretty... and apparently this is like a like people. I've had guys say that like 50 percent of the girls they're connecting with. It's nah. like one of these scams for OnlyFans. I don't I think you know. You, no, you've got to be pretty stupid. Look, um, let me just see. Quick, DDLD, hello, hop on if you want. DDLD, uh, <laughs> I, kept, I kept you well out of the way <laughs> with producer Mike. Have you on the stream with yeah, with, a, exactly. with an A list guest like him? But now we'll, we'll move down the list there to people like you, DDLD. Now I'm joking. We would love to have you on. Um, Dan demanded super chats from us. <laughs> students. Yeah. True story. He, did, like, he didn't really, but I'm sure he wouldn't have turned them down the mechanism was there i would i would have um i would have actually yeah. been happy to do that um yeah. thank you for the comment there dd um i i've never encountered anything like that i think you've got to I mean, that's true. it might be more of an american thing to be honest but you know there's these ones i just read okay so no i um, don't have an only fans just to clarify i don't but guess what i read this article today about this girl who's talking about she had an only fans where pretty much all she had to do and this is where i stop and pause right like am i do am i on the best course in my life she made like 98 grand a month she said mostly doing foot picks and she said like guys would ask her to like pick up a remote control with her foot and like send a picture to me it's like i mean 98 grand i don't know and you're hardly degrading yourself that much showing a picture of your feet, are you? 
it's kind of anonymous. You, you, it's not like yeah, it's out yeah. there like your face. I, I can sort of see this. I can see this. I can actually see. Yeah, I, I don't I know. It's like it's, it's a very it's a very straight. I'm just kidding. I'm not selling any foot pics, but you know, like it's it's a very strange world when you have these opportunities like you can either work really hard and go to college and get a degree and make like sort of okay money or you can sell foot pics and make mm. a lot of money <laughs> so i don't know uh, what to do with that information sometimes you know uh, but I, I would I, I wouldn't look down on people too much for doing why, why, why i don't look do down on them yep, yep, yep. i'm like girl good for you you know but um but yeah but no like the the whole the whole dating thing um yeah, it's interesting. It's, it's interesting. I'm just I, I, like, where, where is, where is the person? Where is he? Well, where the first he? thing is, I, I, yeah, you want to be sure that, that they are who they say they are. I, I've not experienced right. anything that I thought they weren't the person that that I thought they were. Um, I, th I think there are some accounts. It's, it, I've seen a few accounts where it seemed fairly obvious it might be a bit dodgy. Like they look too much like a sort of glam model, and there's like no information. You can always do like a. I know Mr. Clean gets annoyed with me talking about this. You can do a video chat with somebody, then you know they're real. Um, or well, or at you, least like a voice that. call like, or you, something. You, yeah. you have that there too. Like there's the little blue thing and on Bumble anyway. I don't know. Yeah. I'm only on Bumble and it's you, you know, you can ask them to do if they don't have the little blue like verification thing. You yeah, they ask them to do it. Them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, but it's. I think the good thing is, and you know, I like I read the study saying that relationships that come out of dating apps are like way more successful in the long run than. Oh, really? Yeah, and I think it's because you do, if they have enough information, they you you do get to like weed out, yeah, like pros and cons or things that you definitely like don't like, like your your non negotiables and things like that. Um, I mean, I'm guessing that's, that's probably why, but yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep uh, on keeping on, you know, I think you just have to keep, my problem is I feel like I'm such a, like, I get so, I get so like attached to people when I start talking to them that I'm like, I want to collect them all, but like, I don't want to, I don't want to get rid of any of them. Like I want like a harem. I want like a harem of the, all the men, you know, <laughs> just like. Because you feel like sort of a you're like oh now I'm like it but the the danger is you feel like you're like it gives you a false sense of like actually knowing people and having like relationships with with them when really you've just talked to them on an app you know what I mean but yeah. this is if the you're thing. vibing I mean, really well with them sometimes you feel like you almost know them and then if it's the point where you have to say no I have to end this like you feel a little bit bad right because you're like oh well I agree like, because I think. Like in in before we had all this stuff in the in real in the real world when you met people by uh, you know somebody at work or going to a bar, you know I was very lucky if I had one person on the go. But with the, even someone like me, believe it or not, with with these apps in the early stages, obviously you can you can have four or five or six or ten conversations going on, mm. and uh, which can be quite yeah. you know great fun. It's like a smorgasbord, men, men <laughs> people, and you kind of like it them is, all. It is but, a then, but, then, but then if you get to the point that you go to a date with one of them, and then maybe another one wants a date on Wednesday, and and someone else is saying, "Hey, free Thursday." But then if you get to the second and third date with another one, you sort of start to feel, oh, shit, it's a bit, I don't know right, if this is, right. what, yeah, where's, I mean, where's the moral, where, where, who, am I, I'm not, I'm not your boyfriend, but am I cheating on you if I talk to this other, right, it's right, it's a little a bit weird, difficult, yeah, yeah, it's a weird, great, great the other yeah. thing that has surprised me, I had no idea this was such a thing, like I've heard about the whole like ENM. Oh, hey, I've heard, I've heard about the whole ENM, this ethical non-monogamy thing, but it's it comes up so often. Like so many of these people are ENM, ethical non-monogamy, or that they're in polyamorous relationships, or it's like the two of them. I can only deal with one crazy person at a time. I don't need two. I don't need to be involved with a couple. That's just one more person I get to worry about. And they're all all their little things or psycho you know, whatever. <laughs> hey, well, how are you? DDLD uh, second you? class guest. You know, I didn't mean that. You're a top guest and we love you. Hello. Welcome to the show. I missed you, Joe. Uh-huh. I hear this. Look, look in your chat right now, Dan Norton. Lex Ellis knows how to greet the DDLD. 
you know. And Hello, I- Lex. <laughs> hey, Lex Ellis. Hello, Lex Ellis. Be, hop on if you want. Great legend from Scotland. We love, we love you. I did, I did. did oh yeah, you Lex, you're earlier. amazing. I had we, so much we, fun we, with you before. Yeah. I, I want to say Lex really Great. inspired me to start my channel, and that that's no lie. Back in 2016, so Lex is a legend, and we love to see DDLD. I didn't mean that you're a second class citizen. Well, no, you joke. just said it's it out nice. loud. You know, it was, you a, know, friendly, that's, that's, it was that's a friendly true. joke. It was a friendly. Uh huh. I see how it works. You know, <laughs> and you know, I'm a person too, Norton. You know, I just want you to think about that. <laughs> And I'm being called the diddly D by the real deal. Which <laughs> the is, yeah. I don't think you are a second class guest. You are a first class guest. And I was, I was trying to be affable. As Larry David once said, I was trying to be affable and it backfired. It's great to see you. Thank you so much. Just because I didn't let you anywhere near producer Michael. <laughs> I don't understand. Then there could have been two Brits who refused to give me free bottles, not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Delco versus the Brits. That would have been like <laughs> something to say. No, no, I've got mine. <laughs> See? I'm kind of a big deal. Um, so uh-huh. how are you doing, DD, uh, DDLD? How are you doing? I am good. I just returned from seeing Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. My and, son is uh, there right now seeing it with his friend. What did you think? I really dug it. Uh what was kind Spider-Man's of Spider-Man's my favorite superhero, by the way. Yeah, well, there's plenty of Spider-Mans in this in this film. Um, there, what was kind of funny is, I guess a lot of people who went to see it didn't pay attention that this was part one. So when it ended with a uh, open ending, there was a lot of upset people when when the credits rolled. So, but I I knew. So, oh, Fernando's asking me for spoilers. Well, it began this way, Fernando. No, I'm just. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, it was it was really well done, uh, just like the other one was, and uh, this one maybe yeah. a little more so. And uh, I really I really enjoyed it. You know. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, do well, you go really to nice. the cinema over there, as you call it, Norton? Do you ever do you ever go? No. Hmm. Do you um, watch films? Yes, I watch them on Netflix. I watch quite a few. F- I, I do like to go to the movies. I do watch a nice movie, yes. Um, yeah, I think the last film I saw at the cinema was The Passion of the Christ. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not a religious man. I'm not a religious man. But I was just so intrigued by the uh, the furore about this film about 20 years ago. The whole, oh, I want to see it. It was actually a very good film. Um, You're a sick bastard. You wanted to point and laugh at Jesus while he was being tortured? <laughs> I, I did. I kind of enjoyed it. It was. <laughs> I, I I thought that was a very uh, you know I I'm not a religious man, but I I must say because there was so much controversy when that came out about nineteen. Oh, years there ago, was yes, I yeah. Go, there was. I want to see this. I want to see this, and I thought actually, very good bit of propaganda for 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 the the for God. It was a good good bit of propaganda for God. God. <laughs> I, I was like, I could almost buy into this. Thank you for the super chat. Anoush Patel with a $13.99 super chat. That's very gener- generous Canadian uh, super chat. Thank you. I love and respect 66.666% of the panel. Also, the average age of the panel just went up 17 years. Just saying. No. I don't understand this kind of talk. Mm. Clearly, Anoush has been huffing paint already at this hour of the evening. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. I think that was aimed at our great esteemed guest. Thank you, uh, DDLD. Uh, Anoush Patel, great super chat. Really, really appreciate that super chat. Yoshi Yoshi says Dan took his last date to see the Passion <laughs> of the Christ. Uh, I didn't even have a date, I'm afraid, for that one. I went on my own. Thank you, Anoush Patel. Uh, DDLD, how are you doing? Um, what did you think of did, did Did you catch any of the producer Michael appearance? I did. I, I caught uh, as soon as I came out of the theater, we threw it on in the car for the ride home because yes. uh, I, I actually I dig uh, producer Michael. I don't know He's why. All right, isn't he? He's good. Yeah. yeah. Um, he is so nice. Yeah. What, one of my earliest uh, when I started, you know, realizing about Fragcom and watching videos, one of the first videos, strangely, that I saw was him. And mm. it was it was hilarious because he took you into a room where he stores like he has a room for his fragrances. I don't know if you've yes, ever seen yeah. this. It's like his wardrobe yeah. in his room. And he, I think if I recall correctly, I, it was a very ex- expensive fragrance, but it may have been Creed. And he held up a bottle of, of something very expensive, which I think was Creed. And he said, ah, this one's not too pricey. You could, you know, you could wear this mowing the lawn. And I just realized how wealthy he was in that moment that he thought that that's something he would wear mowing the lawn. And then he opened his fragrance Dubois cabinet 
uh, which was pretty impressive at the time. And, and yes, I think that was the video that I reacted to, that which was how I first came to speak to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, uh, yeah. He, he's pretty interesting. And then when he he was the first person that I saw with uh, Niles Naomi uh, when Niles built that house called the One that was five hundred million dollars, oh, and right. Michael toured the house with him, and I just uh, it was the most obnoxious house. I've ever seen in my life. And at the same time, I was incredibly jealous and realized what a failure I've been in life. Not, you know, it can make you feel that way a tiny bit. Yes, it does. Yeah. But I, I, I actually, and I'm not, you know, he's gone now, so I'm not, I'm not trying to blow smoke up his back starts backside, but um, I do find that there is a sort of affability about the channel that I somehow don't, I, you know, I, I know they are still living a lifestyle that is incredibly crazy, but I don't, I don't find that it's sort of, um uh, something i feel alienated from somehow I, I i feel that it's kind of they do have some sense of the ridiculousness of this and uh i, I think they kind of get away with it there, there is a there is a sort of amiability about the way they're doing this um that sort of makes us all kind of en enjoy it and not feel like oh, i failed at my life just because i'm not living out there uh I, I, he does carry that off in a, in a rather skillful way, I, I I genuinely think. But maybe you're more cynical than me, DDLD. I'm more what than you? Cynical. I'm very much cynical. Um, but but you, you, but you also cantankerous. <laughs> but you you also do like producer Michael's channel, yeah. Yeah, no, I enjoy it. There's a, he has an interesting way in all seriousness that he balances mm -hmm. ridiculous wealth with. He still seems surprised like the same way i would be like if i saw something incredibly extravagant mm. he still seems to feel that extravagance even though apparently this is the life he lives so it kind of makes it a little more uh palatable to a, a working slob like myself you know where uh, it, that it, was that was the word i was looking for i was trying to describe slob? you yeah 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 I was, I was i was trying to find the word this, yeah thank you is this insult to ddld day what is going on here is it, a, is it a national holiday over That's there? That's all year round. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay. Uh, it's great to have a great panel, you guys. Okay, so we're going to talk about luxury for a second because we've had um, Bruce Michael obviously lives a quite luxurious lifestyle. So uh, Lime Lice, apart from fragrances, which are, are something of a luxury, but we'll assume we all share that. Mm -hmm. what, are, what other luxuries in life do you uh, treat yourself with? Which ones do you I mean, really, I mean, I love clothing, but I, you know, I don't have a lot of clothing that's like super, well, clothing super is expensive. sort of a necessity, to be honest with you. Yeah, I but but I do, like, I definitely have some clothing that I didn't need to spend that much money on, you know, and, you know, a couple pairs of shoes. Not really, like, so much, but I know a lot of women are into luxury bags. I just never found that, like, worth it. I don't know. I, I, I don't really care that much about bags. Um, I do yeah. like jewelry. I do like jewelry. I don't have, I don't personally have a lot of luxury By the way, jewelry. I'm like, Lass, I forgot to say, I think your earrings look absolutely delightful. Thank you. And They're from like that. Target. So these are not luxury, but I like to think that I wear them like and they are luxury. Top or dress, the color is a beautiful shade of sort of slight off olive green or something. I like it. Well, it's like a weird gray. And this is actually, I, I'm like actually really digging this top. Um, And it's just from Zara, but you know. It's, it's cool. Yeah, it's like a weird, like, stone kind of color. But, yeah. Um, it looks yeah, very I mean, lovely. Very, yeah, your hair cascading hard. down. Yeah, I, I just, if I can, can just continue uh, complimenting you. Your, your hair cascading down your shoulders looks I fabulous. Now, now you good. may continue. You may continue. Yeah, Are you sorry. touching yourself right now, Norton? I feel like I'm inter interrupting something. What is happening here? <laughs> Back good to Amanda. God. I mean, I can go. I can. You could just. Oh my gosh. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, I look, I've been a very, I I a very nice. weird week and a stressful week. So you guys are making me. You guys are making me laugh. I'm, sure. whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm really happy about that. Um, but no, like, as far as luxury, there are a lot of things that I wouldn't like. Cars. You know, I have a Kia Soul. Um, <laughs> I don't like. Yeah. You know, that's, that's not one Kia, thing that like I'm really that I really care about. You know what I do spend like? Not that I spend tons of money on it but i spend more money probably than most is i'm very particular about food and just like producer micro was talking about like the organic and all of the like sustainably sourced and 
I totally like fall for that. And also beauty products. Like I'm very into like, you know, nice creams and lotions and things and, you know, that sort of thing. So I do like that. I love luxury beauty products that just make you feel good. You know, sometimes when you're in, you know, you're feeling down, it takes a nice like luxury, but fragrance can do that as well. But yeah, I actually really, I like, I like really high quality uh, food ingredients, you know, cause I cook a lot. So I, I you, order a lot. Do of you mostly cook like, at home or do you eat out a lot? Well, I mean, I, I do both, but more, more often than not, I am cooking at home. So I actually, I'm a little bit spoiled with like, so I'm part Italian. I'm a good part Italian. I love uh, cooking Italian food. I like one of my vices is I order from like Giada De Laurentiis's uh, website, Giazzi, and she gets all this great, she curates all this great stuff from, from Italy. She finds like the best ingredients from Italy and I buy them and they do make a difference. Like they make your dishes taste really, really good. So that's like one thing that it's maybe some people would consider that a luxury because it's a little bit extra, but I feel like it is worth it. Okay. Food. Um, food. Obviously food is somewhat of a necessity as you know, it mm -hmm. does, does help to keep one alive, but good right. food, I think is a good point that can be a, absolutely a some, somewhat of a luxury. Great point. I'm going to find out about DDLD's luxuries there. I'm sure he can relate to the uh, the high uh, quality skincare products. It's clear that you are using a lot of those too. Uh, Kai first with a Malaysian six dollar super chat. Why DDLD cam is grayish blur? Am I grayish? I don't know. I did I did you, have things move. My lights were moved around and stuff, and I just threw them back. So maybe they're uh, okay. just out of out of line or something. Am I All that gray? Right. Uh, we're just getting. You, you seem a little. Yeah, you do. You do seem a little bit low, Super. low def compared. You're normally very high def, so something's got a bit funny there. I don't know. Uh, Maybe uh, thanks. Yeah, I don't know. I probably, uh, I probably move something out of the way. Kai, Kai, thanks for the super chat. Really do appreciate it. But uh, joking aside, DDOD, forgive me. Um, what, what apart from obviously fragrances are kind of luxury. What, what luxuries do you covet most in life? Um. <laughs> The only thing I don't care about anything really luxury. I don't wear jewelry too much. I have, you know, a couple necklaces that I wear and uh, I, I don't care much about clothes. Like I have some decent like Robert Graham shirts and stuff like that. But um, other than that, I don't care. Uh, the one thing I spend ridiculous amounts of money on is food. Uh, we eat out quite a bit. Uh, yeah, I notice you, 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 there's quite a lot of Instagram where you're out for, and they look yeah. lovely meals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, um, yeah. And we go to, a lot of times we go to pretty pricey restaurants and stuff. So that's probably it. Uh, if if there's right. anything I spend. Yeah, I'm a foodie too. We have to go to dinner. To, we, I, you have to let me be your third meal so that we can go to a nice dinner together. All right. Yeah, yeah. I, I we, um, We're in that area a lot too. The, those are the I uh, know. places we tend to go. So yeah. I'm yeah. 240p. That's what they're saying. Is it? Is it yeah, coming? Yeah, I must admit on, on my feed, you're coming through. You're coming through very grainy. And I know you normally have. Yeah, I know you have a great hmm. camera. So it must be something with the connection or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's um, the only thing I can figure because I'm like, I'm looking yeah. at me here and I look like I always look. Oh, so I can't it's tell. funny, isn't it? Um, yeah. yeah. But you know what? There's like bad storms and stuff. Maybe the atmosphere is weird. Uh, maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Yeah, I look uh, as far as I can see. I look the way I always look, you know, uh, let me see what my um, my signal says. It's uh, super strong. I don't know. Uh, let no, me, you never know. He, 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 let, let, I think we're sold, John. Um, yeah. Uh, I have so, an idea. Hold on. Let me shut my camera off. And I think what this did. I just added a Wi-Fi repeater in the house here for the other end, and it's grabbed onto that. And I, I bet you that's what it is. Let me let me uh, try well, to him, switch back. Yeah, over. yeah. Okay. Because he, right. to be fair, to have a. Are you going to come out and come back in again? As yeah, as that's what I'm going to have to do. Actress said to the bishop, "Okay, we'll just do that." Okay, um, <laughs> all right, okay. I'll be back. Okay, um, so yeah, he'll he'll figure that one out. Um, uh, Amanda, where do we go from there? So luxury goods. Okay, so you you, you food is food is one thing. Well, yeah, I love yeah, and I do though. love I, I do love food. fine dining, preferably when I don't have to pay for it. But you know, <laughs> now that I'm single, it's a little bit harder. Yeah. Um, fine dining is a fun thing, isn't it? So, do you? Uh, 
when you are dating, which I'm sure you will be again, having some very romantic dates soon, uh, fine dining is, I think that, that, that uh, dinner is pr pretty much the best way to, for me, a, a drink followed by dinner and a couple more drinks is, is, is a good date to me. I, th I think that's the way mm -hmm. to go. Don't you? Mm -hmm. Yes. I, so I actually have a, I have a date on Monday at oh, a place that seems really cool. Okay. Like dinner, dinner and drinks. So. Yeah. Din dinner and drinks is, is always a good way to go. So um, fine dining is fun. Uh, DDLD, you are now are you back better? in full HD. You are back in full right. HD. Thank God. <laughs> um, we've got what up ski guys super chats have gone terribly dry there uh i'm on bumble <laughs> i don't see limelight no, i must not be you must not be philly philly <laughs> uh limelight last what kind of radius mile wise do you allow for dates on your, your you know own? so what killed my the the relationship i've gotten out of was was the was the distance factor i don't think i can ever do that long distance thing mm. again um I mean, I put fifty miles. That's quite but, generous. Yeah, that's that's a long way to go. Yeah, I mean, not like if they're willing to meet halfway, or they'd be like really willing. Like, I feel like I'm like Helen of Troy. Like, you should cross oceans for me. You know, I have a little bit of an inflated Whoa. sense. <laughs> right, you yeah. should cross oceans, Dan. You should <laughs> be willing to cross oceans. <laughs> well, you never know. You never know. Um, <laughs> Um, I'm you, I feel like I'm on a fucking love connection. <laughs> <laughs> love, exciting and new. But anyway, um, oh, I like that Dwayne's comment. Monday date means limelight is starting off the summer season strong. Yes, this is going to be my hot girl summer, I decided. Oh, no. Is that one of them things? I've heard this terminology before. What does this mean? <laughs> I've heard this. What's that supposed to mean? I, you know, I, I hear know. things. So I, it I'm probably only, means I'm going to be sitting here watching junk reality TV in my pajamas. Like, I think I think I did. what I'm going to say is my hot girl. Song. No, um, no, you know, just, 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 uh, really like focus on myself, but also put, I guess, put myself, you know, put myself out there. Whatever. Wait, am I back or who cut out? Was yeah. it me? You're back. Now we've got you back. Um, let's just catch up on a couple of guys. Super mm. chats. Uh, I think we're going to just uh, we're going to go to the luxury theme there. Um, super chats have gone a bit quiet. So do hit us with a super chat because they were really on fire. Yeah, super during chats. The you can ask us all kinds of interesting things. Some of you are nosy and want to know some like personal details. Exactly. Then super chat and maybe we'll let's answer you. Uh, Mr. Clean, Dan needs a radius of his <laughs> neighborhood. Anything more is too much effort. Well, <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, but I, I do think you, you would want them reason i mean there are a lot of people yeah, in any because, area you know, i want someone who's like a part of my life you know like and you can't really be part of someone's everyday life. i'm not saying every single day because i'm, I'm pretty independent but i want to see someone like two or three times a week if they're going to be like stuff matters person. guys practical practical stuff matters actually in romance that's the message from mr smelly yeah Trip, right, uh, it really it really is it really is it, it, no, it, it, the, the, the simple things of like are do you have uh you know are, are you within a reasonable traveling distance um can you hop over and stay the night at each other without it being a huge you know um, right right trek? It does. It does make a huge difference. Unfortunately, uh, simple things matter. Tripler, Dan sends his juice all over the planet. I wish I, wish I did. <laughs> okay. I'd love to. It's just <laughs> all over what camp. A, what a, what a, what a horrific cool. image! Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, do you? Do, who wants to imagine that? Do you want us all to leave, Dan? Um, See, we're all feeling it. No, come on, guys. Stop it. Stop it. Um, well, someone wants to know if I put age restrictions on my profile. I do. Um, yeah. I I set it as, because I feel like I look and feel young, a little bit younger than I am. So I set it from 34 to 55. That's kind of me, too. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. It's, so funny. I used to Every, feel it's so funny. I've connected with so many guys that are, well, not so many guys. The, several of the guys that I've connected with are my favorite number and joe's gonna know why it's my favorite number 37 wait what i i don't know is this a philly sports thing you don't know 30, 37 come on want, where did you just sports. go last weekend i don't where, where did, did I you go? just see oh, oh, oh th th okay now i got you 37 now, I, I was thinking 37 oh yeah. my girlfriend 
37 yes, in a row. I, I, I 37 a, I is also 37 is also Luke's number in Cool Hand Luke, another fantastic movie that I show in my film oh, class. So. With the hard boiled eggs? With the eggs, nobody eats. Yeah. yeah, nobody eats 50. You know, it's funny you were saying you feel you look younger and, and feel younger than you are. And I, I used to I feel do. that way too. I, I used to think that about myself. And then the FragCom chat room, the, the <laughs> comment sections have straightened that out for me. Like right I now, thought you were younger. To be honest, I'm not even blowing smoke up your ass. I thought <laughs> when I first met you that you were like at least just kind of around our age. I didn't, and this is know? why I keep my camera at low resolution. <laughs> you know, nobody can tell you can't yeah. see things i i think you look younger yeah I, that's what i, think I do too, think man. i think that has been an unfair thing that's been done to you yeah quick super chat jingle just to, just to see if we can um solicit a few more uh you know i've, I've got an ebay for a living here na, 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 na. baby super chat super chat baby super chat na, 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 na. Yeah, get those super chats in. And you can ask us all kinds of embarrassing or questions. Ask us, or ask us all the questions. Okay, um, yeah. guys, so we're talking about luxury goods. Um, my thing is watches, and producer Michael has an incredible watch collection. I've got to be honest, I do, I, I, and I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not somebody who's had loads of expensive watches and stuff. But, um, yeah, I, I can remember when I got interested in watches. It was only about, like, five or six years ago. And I always thought, like, I'll never be able to buy a Rolex watch because it's, I could never justify uh, spending that kind of money on a watch. And um, I have a couple that are really nice now. So I, I am really ha happy to have those. I realize they are terribly, you know, they are expensive for a watch. Um, but as producer Michael did say, they, they do sort of hold their value. So it is kind of like the money still being in the bank. I don't know. I guess it kind of helps if you're completely single and you don't have a wife and kids. Otherwise, you might have to kind of explain if you spent a huge amount of money on it. I don't know. It might be a bit, 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 bit awkward more that way to, to to say that you spent a lot of money on watch if 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 you did have responsibilities in life. Um, and so I do. I do sort of cover these these slightly silly, really, isn't it, to cover this item um but i do i do like having those and and the, the fragrances obviously i do have some some amazing fragrances apart from that though if i if i won the lottery i wouldn't go out and buy a, a car or anything because i don't really care i don't i'm not just not really interested in cars yeah Other i never people, found I, cars really worth it because you know they they decrease in value like Susie orman always says like as soon as you drive it off the lot it decreases in value it's like one of the worst that's true investments you can make no cars are not an in, in investment no you can you can have it you can buy a nice car but you're just going to enjoy it um so yeah, in in that sense of what uh, a really good watch, like a the, the brands that hold their value can be a better investment. But I can understand people into car. DDOD, are you are you into cars at all? DDOD, not really. I never have been. I spend a majority of my day in a uh, in a work van, so I don't care. I you know, we have. I mean, we have a Cadillac here, but when I you know, oh, do you? I'm in I'm in a work truck all the day all day. Oh. Um, I don't. I just don't care. So, what I, is the luxury, what is the luxury thing that you most covet apart from fragrances? DDOD. Like I said, food. That's it. Uh, the, yeah. I mean, that's the only thing that I like. I will. I've spent ridiculous amounts of money for a really good meal at times. So, mm -hmm. like from a really high ranking chef. Yeah, I love. Stuff. Yeah, we we have that in common. That's why we need we need to get together. Mm -hmm. It'd be so fun. Yeah. You guys need to hook up. Absolutely. Okie dokie. Oh, boss. Uh, boss. Yeah. But Marcus Mandel talking about us. Well, I gave boss the night off. I blocked boss for tonight because I've, I've had enough of his passive aggressive <laughs> comments in the chat. So I've, 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 I've given him the boot from the chat. And um, so if you want him back, let us know, guys. We, we, we do miss boss, though. Um, he, he was. A... Do we? <laughs> well, uh -oh. I'm... Uh -oh. blood, that's first blood. First blood has been drawn. <laughs> I'm just uh, okay, I'm it's become an American favorite. Better than old school stuff. They used to say it was fancy like Grey Goose. Oh, we're talking about Tito's, right? Mm -hmm. Tito's? I love Tito's. It is my favorite. It's my favorite. It's so good. I think that's it vodka. is the number one okay. vodka in America. It's so, like, it's so smooth. Yeah. Is that what, so. uh, what, what are you drinking there, DDOD? I'm drinking Deer Park water. 
Oh, I thought it was water. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, last t- subject for the night. I'm, I'm not going to go, to be honest, I'm not going to go much past three hours. Um, well, we are going to do our tropical fragrances, Dan. Well, exactly. I'm so sorry. Tropical fragrances. <laughs> Hit me with it, Amanda. Because look what I look what I have for, for the, which side should I put in? This one. Dun, dun, for the dun, dun. I've got my oh, flower. La, la. I do love a flower in a girl's hair, actually. It looks really good. You know, when I, oh, in my going up days, I, that was my gimmick. I always had a flower in my hair and I always had guys coming up saying how they like it. So, vulture. so <laughs> my, um, my fragrance. I heard that today, too, <laughs> Narciso I Ombre, one of my favorite tropical fragrances, right? Love it. I read the notes and everything earlier, but really great. I, I feel like when some when a fragrance has frangipani, it's nice and tropical, right? So that's one of my. Sorry, you just, could you just say that one again? Narciso. Ombre. Um, who? Ombre. Ombre. Like A M B R E. Okay. Narciso. Was that Narciso Rodriguez? Yes. One of my Ombre. favorite. Ombre. Okay. For ladies. Narciso. Okay. I pretty much love all of the Narciso Rodriguez. I mean, they're, I mean, all of the ones I have, I absolutely adore. Yep. And love, love, love the ombre one. It's so good. It's so tropical. It makes you feel like you are on an island, but it still has a little bit of that like musky Narciso, you know, DNA in it. But so, so good. This is such a gem. Love, right. love, obsessed. Okay. Obsessed, obsessed. okay. That, that has a tropical uh, aura. Yep. It's so tropical. Another one, Dan, I know you know this one. It's a favorite. And it's so weird because I normally don't like white flowers, but for some reason I am all about this. And that is Guerlain Terracotta. Oh, uh, with you on the all the way on that one. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, oh my gosh, it's so good. This reminds me, if you've never smelled Guerlain Terracotta, it's very like white floral, very tropical, but it's in an, in like an old Hollywood type of way. Like I think of like the the silver screen goddesses, you know, of yesteryear. <laughs> and yes. like, this is what they would be wearing, right? Like Bridget Bardot, like on the beach, like would be wearing this because it's so like, it's, it's classy. It's very, very, I don't know. It's like sexy and, but also classy. I have to spray some. It's just so good. So it's and it's. I, I really agree with compliment you. Compliment getter. It's a total compliment mm. compliment getter, but it is very. Um, there's something very. I don't know. There's something old, like old school about it. You know what I mean? Like it's very. I agree. Yeah. Cl- it's very timeless. So Guerlain Terracotta. If you have not smelled this, I have that one. <laughs> uh, yours, yours has a way bigger dent, but like for me, yeah. that's a pretty good dent because I have. I mean. This I is mean, this is this is. Uh, uh, okay. oh. Uh, a very oh. unre- it's unrecognized um yoshi yoshi dan answer the question will you be streaming tomorrow or do you, i need to download a movie i i probably will be streaming tomorrow i can't i i, I probably 76 percent mm. probability that i will be streaming tomorrow um terracotta le parfum brilliant uh fantastic Love it. like so uh, good. jasmine so good. and other sort of what is it tiara flower it and it has this kind of powdery undertone to it it, it but it doesn't smell massively feminine it, it it really is a very very nice summer holiday I, I i actually i know i'm probably more red than bronzed but if one had had a day in the sun on a summer holiday and freshly showered out of the thing blah 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 going to dinner this is the kind of thing you would want to spray on a you know a nice white yeah. shirt or whatever to oh, go to so dinner. Good. It, it, it is really beautiful so and, and it's very Love affordably it. available online so that's a really great and it does have a tropical tropical aura or, or even a mediterranean aura but it's similar yeah yeah. So I'd highly recommend that one. Uh, DDLD, do you have a tropical recommendation? No, I mean, uh, they're not really my thing. And the and the only ones I would be able to recommend are the ones I recommended for summer, uh, which would be the, the, the ones I had last week, like Sicily and Holidays from Mancera and stuff like that. I mean, it's they're not really my kind of uh, uh, fragrance, you know. I'm a man. You know what I'm saying? Not in- <laughs> can't say man, that. Be tropical. <laughs> cancel no. him that's you can't say that it can't be canceled by the way i have some I, I was just thinking like when you guys are talking to each other i have some theme music that i think would go well with your conversations <laughs> what do you think <laughs> nothing like you could be like you know hey little lady does that top come off you know and then <laughs> you know what i'm saying Norton? 
Nothing. So what were you saying? What, sorry, what's he's the purpose? A gentleman, you know, he's a gentleman. What's the purpose of that music? It's porn sorry, music. What's a little like bounce? You go, wow, wow. Yeah, it's porn music, not in, you know. Yes, it's a good thing. And this is supposed to help me how in, in my life? I was trying to help you with your conversations with Amanda. Like you could, you could, sit <laughs> oh. up, like a minute ago when you were saying like, hold on, let me just, let me just look at you a little longer. You know what I mean? And then we know what's happening under your desk. Not, and that's all I'm trying to say. It's okay. So if you, <laughs> you, know, you play the music. Now. This is, this yeah. Is this is funny. You know what I'm saying? All right. Okay. Um, <laughs> Resume your comp. I, I didn't want to interject. I was just trying to. <laughs> the music now and we'll try it all right ready okay. go, go ahead and say your thing just be like let me let me get a good look at you there okay <laughs> hi amanda i love that hi i love the flower in your hair <laughs> okay. and the way that thank you're you man way that i those wore it especially for you <laughs> i love the way those flax and locks cascade down upon your shoulders see it's working you know, <laughs> I feel it's working. Okay. <laughs> I think the chat, I think the entire chat agrees that it's working. You know, it was kind of gross. I'm sorry. I needed a good, I needed a good laugh. I mean, it's been, it has been a week. It has been a week. So I needed, I needed that. I needed that. <laughs> DDLD. You always make me laugh. And it's I love that about you. Very it's been a wonderful week for me. <laughs> Um, Mr. Clean, you have to do that. That idea I was talking to you about about the you know what, the uh, the idea where I wanted you to direct a little thing. We gotta we gotta do that. We gotta do that. We'll talk. Well, now that. we have the music. I think we know what kind. Now of we have the music. We, so we really can make this happen, Mr. Clean. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Get you one of those big thick mustaches, Norton, and then like a, unbutton your shirt with a gold medallion, and then come in and say <laughs> your line. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We oh my uh, oh my no uh, so no tropical fragrances from you what about you Dan? Um, i have more but let's like yeah, go around moving, and what about you, you? The swift, the com thank god somebody moved it on uh yeah. listen Vir virgin <laughs> island water by creed i think is fantastic That's lime and coconut lime and coconut amazing combination beautiful citruses with uh there's a, supposed to be a rum note but i think that's a fantasy note but um um Speaking of fantasies, how are you doing, Amanda? Uh, sorry, no, uh, the, the lime, lime and coconut combination of this fragrance, Virgin Island Water. I really love it. The quality is great, and it just has this really happy, uplifting summer holiday feel. It, and, and of course, oh, I believe the Virgin Islands are literally in tropical waters, right? They are. Thank you. Yeah, I, I haven't been, but, you know. Maybe they we'll absolutely are. Maybe we'll have to fix that, Amanda. It's mood setting music. I'm here to enhance your stream. <laughs> you know, if only producer Michael, if you if the second class. I know, you know what? I hope he's not watching this part. He's gonna be like, I am never going on this. <laughs> no, what he's gonna say now is why wasn't this dynamic, charismatic gentleman on when I was there? You know, that's what he's gonna think to himself. I can tell he, he already likes the cut of my jib. Uh, so we have Kai first with a Malaysian six ringgit super chat. Thank you so much. I, I no, Virgin Island water is, you know, the, the definition of a tropical fragrance. Thank you for the super chat, Kai first. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. I smell so tropical right now. Can I do another one? Yes. I have Pacifica. This is a cheapie. Pacifica's uh, Tahitian gardenia. Very, very affordable. Um, it smells really good. So that's... Very tropical, very nice gardenia fragrances. Uh, and then I have, here's one, the Pepe Jeans London Cocktail Edition. And this is, what is this one? If you're not familiar with Pepe Jeans, they have like the cutest bottles ever because they're like little martini glasses. And this one, <laughs> cocktail for her, I don't know. But this is like a pineapple, uh, very fruity. Bottle, yeah. Yeah, pineapple, fruity, very, very tropical fragrance. Oh my god, it smells it, this smells like a uh a pineapple cocktail. So See, that one, me. very affordable. That's Pepe Jeans cocktailed. Um, I like all the Pepe Jeans uh fragrances. I don't know if anyone in the uh chat has ever tried them, but they're really good. 
And then um, I also have sun fruit from Ellis. Oh, oh my God. Um, I have sun fruit from Ellis Brooklyn, which is very, very fruity. It has like a passion fruit note. Um, this is a, this is a nice, oh, Marcus Vandell he loves Pepe jeans. There you go. Um, I'm going to smell just delicious. Oh, that's so good. So really good fruity tropical fragrance, Ellis Brooklyn. I really like that house. And the last one I'm going to show you for tropical is a cheapie because I like to keep it real and give you options that are affordable as well. And this is like a, a hidden gem. I don't hear a lot of people talking about it, but this is actually um, Beyonce Heat. You can get this for like 10 bucks <laughs> on the gray market. And I wear, you know, I wear it a lot when, um, I don't know, it's like a dumb reach in the summertime. Very tropical, fruity. Yeah, it's just, it's just really pleasant, crowd pleasing and um, perfect, I'm not for, wearing Beyonce. perfect for the heat, as the name implies. So those are my picks. Have anyone ever like tried any of these? Let me know. Speak, speaking of heat, Norton, do you have anything you'd like to add? <laughs> Stop it. Um, I, was waiting, I, actually... I was waiting for you to go say, <laughs> say cocktail real style. <laughs> <No. laughs> <You know? Yeah. laughs> well, Mr. Clean said I'm determined to go through every tropical fragrance. Look, I'm stop. I'm trying. To... Mr. Clean, this is me holding back. Okay. This is me holding back. Because I love the tropical fragrances. As much as I love my, you know, I love my heavy hitter like leather and oud and and tobacco and all of that when it gets above 90 degrees i'm breaking out those tropical fragrances because ddld wasn't it so 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 hot it in our area today it was like disgusting. steamy scorching it was disgusting scorching. it was awful i i, I couldn't believe i was it's out scooping so nice. water ice to a bunch of teenagers <laughs> on a field yeah it was bad yeah i was not ready I'm for a little bit yeah yeah i wasn't ready you know, it's been it's been nice and pleasant, and then all of a sudden, mm -hmm. you know. Oh, that, look! I got a nice comment there on. from what from what up ski saying. Last is a cutie though, can't deny. No simp and in shape for her age. Well, thank you. That's very nice. I work extremely hard at that. Um, it's not easy. It must be nice to have the chat compliment you instead of talking about how old you are. <laughs> and, you know how you look gray and washed out, and your camera sucks, and your internet sucks, and. <laughs> All that kind of stuff, you know, I guess maybe my brontosaurus is not pedaling fast enough for my internet. So, to some <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can, I can, no, listen, it, it hasn't God. been quite as hot over. It hasn't been quite as hot here. Botox, South wait, Botox does wonders. What? Uh oh, who said that? I am all natural. I don't know if that was directed toward me, but um. No, I'm really like I'm very proud of my age. So you know, I'm I'm 45 and uh, no, nothing done, nothing done. I don't believe in that actually. That's good. I Guys, went to it hasn't, it, and it hasn't about, been uh, yeah. it hasn't been quite as warm here in the UK this week as it has been in Philly. But I can tell you the uh, <laughs> the temperature. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. The temperature oh, yeah. just increased. We're getting in so front. punchy, but I I kind of love it. The temperature is increasing here. I feel the temperature rising in the room, and it's not the only thing that's rising right now. <laughs> so if you're going for Norton, you creepy bastard, you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my I, don't know, God. I don't really know where we go from here. Um, uh, I I so needed that. I needed to lighten the mood for my very strange week. So yeah. this is great. This is so much fun. And you guys in the you guys in the chat have been so awesome tonight and and so much fun. I don't know. Okay, yeah, they've been great. Yeah. I mean, not to DLD. I saw that I dated Joan of Arc and invented water. So yeah, they've been they've been just a fucking gem in the chat. You know. <laughs> well, I'm saying. Okay, guys, uh, let's catch up. Super chat, Kay oh, Nakajima. Uh, we had a super. Oh, hang on, did I miss super chat? Um, uh, guys, it's been a great. Uh, it's been a good one. I think it's been a good one. Uh, maybe we quit while we're ahead. We continue this uh, 
in catastrophe uh, elsewhere. So uh, thank you so <laughs> well, much. We've got, you, you know, we've oh. got the backstage. Believe it or not, people, if you think this is bad, you should see what the backstage conversations are like. Oh, my God. I don't <laughs> oh, we I'm should charge here. admission to those because they get a little bit crazy. I'm not going to be here for this one. I can already tell it's going to be nasty between the well, two of you. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> okay. If you, if, oh, if you, used to, if you think this is bad, you should see what oh happens. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna quit while we're ahead. A big flopping <laughs> head. Yeah, you know. Okay, we have, oh we have a super God. chat. We have a super chat. I'm it crying, 20, literally <laughs> crying. But, 25, and then good <laughs> 25 papers, peso super chat. Mexican baby super oh. chat, super chat, super chat. It's a super chat. Um, thank you. Super chat's been great tonight. Uh, thank you, K Nakajima. Very generous super chat. Na, 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 na. Baby super chat, super chat, baby super chat. Bring in some super chats, let's get this thing happening. Super chat, baby. <laughs> super chat, let's get this on, baby. Notice I didn't I didn't play any of the Archie clips while producer Michael was on. I was, I was like, I no, we'll clear we it up. Did, you know, like if you didn't want to like throw him into the fire, you know, because he's did, into this whole thing I, I, and I, I, he would have been like traumatized. So I sanitized it a bit, I gotta be honest. But yeah. uh, the way he was so, he, he was so uh, it was awesome. It was so good. It was so yeah, if good. I could if I could read between the lines, not and what you're saying is there are people who you feel don't deserve to suffer through Archie luxury and then the rest of us do is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, people who I have a, some sort of respect for. Ah, yeah, yeah, just, okay. Just, Fair like, enough. I yeah, don't really care. At least you, you know Archie was now. a teddy bear when he was on with me i brought out the best in him remember he was being so cute and nice to me when yeah, like when yeah. i was on with him he was being so sweet and cute no he's no. like a little puppy Did you see when he was on with me he was yeah. like being wasn't he dan he was like being so sweet oh and who's nice. this lovely lady yes <laughs> yeah he was like oh, hello like he was so nice yeah well i'm, I bring I'm up sure Best Amanda, in, well, not all people, I'm some people. I'm sure any man would naturally be inclined to be nice to you. <laughs> oh, I'd like to be real nice to you right now. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Dan. You're not talking that voice. All right. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to. I want to um, show Dan... you my bangers <laughs> in the mash. You know, like say some British stuff to her. Not. Okay. <laughs> okay, right. Um, <laughs> Kai first with a Malaysian six dollar uh, ringgit super chat. Ooh, Dan, wrench me up, thanks. Let's wrench up the Kai. Um, where's the? Yeah, because I was going to give him a. Because I, I did, I did give a few people extra spanners because I was a little worried about the trolling tonight for producer Michael. But people were very well behaved. We're going to wrap this up. Um, yes. But let me just yeah. let me just give the it's Kai. So let me fun. Give it's Kai, so fun, people. Yeah, no, people were good, uh, and it was good. Yeah. It, um, Add as moderator, Kai. You now have a, a spanner or wrench. There, you are. You are now a moderator on the screen. Uh, I think we should probably wrap this bad boy up. Great, great, great one. Really enjoyed it, guys. Uh, it was so good. Thought? Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. I, I enjoyed. And it. I hope okay. everyone has a fabulous week yes. and maybe you'll maybe you'll see us during the week i don't know you never know i might be here tomorrow i think i i i, I i'll uh I, there's, a, there's a high chance i may be back tomorrow yes oh. okay guys um we love you all thank you so much i think we'll call it a day there and that is enough for one day great panel thank you producer michael thank you limelight lass thank and you. Even, even ddld the second class guest <laughs> go ahead go ahead and say it making backstage time yeah no